Oh, oh sure. Why soon. not? Just in case if Twitch fucks up. Um, so Chibi? Yes? Are you ready to actually fucking play today? I'm ready to do things! Chibi, you're not gonna have to do driving practice today? Fuck, you're probably right! No! I mean, if you have to step out again, uh... The stuff with Christopher is good because, um... For the most part, we can cut scenes at any point. Okay. Because... To... I, I have I have a suggestion, just so that we can make sure um, Chibi gets at least a little bit. Why don't we have Christopher's bit go first? You know what? That's fair enough. We we it's we we need to check in on Christopher anyways. It's been a minute. <laughs> oh. I'm drinking my ramen. Thank you very much. What kind of ramen? Uh, it's just insta ramen. It's just a nong shim. Hmm. 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 Okay. Um. <laughs> Just These Korean that, Insta Ramen's are actually really good. Um, Chibi? Hmm. Just be thankful you're not with the main cast right now. I know, right? Mm -hmm. What, what did we do? Die. Oh, it's not what you did. It's what's gonna happen. What did, what did we do to you, buddy? Um. What did you do to me? You, you provided me with very fun... Uh, player characters and uh, fun interactions and good friendships. Also, I'm a sadist. Wow. He's got you there. Yeah. Just remember, Mr. Sniffles. <sighs> Listen, we can't keep blackmailing each other like this, Jack. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, I deserve okay. blackmail on Hibati, at least. All right, well... Hideyoshi dies. Damn. She just <laughs> counter blackmailed you. That's not fair. He has given one of my car my characters three heart attacks and he has traumatized a child. <laughs> you don't want heart attacks. Pretty sure I'm pretty sure the seagull can help you with that. Yes. <laughs> the seagull's just coming in with an actual nuclear device. Wait, shit. I just thought of something. Hmm. Would we go on breaks? Why don't we say BXB will BRB? It's catchy cable. <laughs> BXB will BRB. Next time on JetX. You can suck oh my. Oh god, meat. it does sound like that, doesn't it? I miss JetX. <clears throat> Do you? Really? Yes. With the Disney party X now on Greed Island. <laughs> D no. Disney XD can suck my ass. <laughs> Wait, is D Disney? He's still around. Yeah, Disney. It's just the Disney Channel now. Oh. Shit, really? I haven't looked at fucking the kids' channels here in the UK for a long for a while. Is Disney not a channel anymore? They had a they had Digimon on JetX. They did. I remember watching Home about it. Bugs X Bones. Bugs X Bones. Now on JetX, Bugs X Bones. It, it's no. <laughs> it. It's been two weeks since we last played, and several months since Christopher yeah. forgot to fucking do anything. Yeah, it's been. Just, I usually get to just say like one sentence, and that's it. <laughs> Oh, 
I think it should be cable. Well. Melvin O'Houlihan. Lala Constant is dead. Long live Melvin O'Houlihan. Yeah. Hello, I'm Rodrigo Thunderbun, stepping in for Ninja Dance Fun House. I play Shino and Bugjack Bones. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that would be a fucking horrible time, everyone. Ugh, ugh, no, no. Yeah, we're not doing that. It. Hey, Ninja Dance Funhouse, I play Grifter here in Bugs X Bones. Uh, you can also find me in all the, in pretty much all the other games, too, and I DM the Deep Knocker, and hey, Jack, you spoke, you go. No. <laughs> More. Dog. He's but a dog. Oh. <laughs> Chucky Fisher can uh, do it. You can too. Alright, hold on. Hi. I'm Blackjack K9. I do the art. My commissions are currently open. I DM Digimon Knighthood and I am in almost I am in everything else. Jesus Christ, I need a break. It's like Jack <laughs> doesn't have anything better to do. I really don't. Is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Hi. Hi, I'm Chibi Wisdom. I don't steal bits. Um you can find uh -oh. me over you can find me over on Twitter at uh Chibi Wisdom. Uh I do art sometimes. I do a lot of stuff for this channel. Uh, I'm in a couple of games. Uh you've probably seen me here and there. Um uh, you see me as Christopher, the guy who says one sentence every now and then. Uh, oh. You see me as McLean in File Phantasma. That was great. Um, it was great. Fucking possessed by that twat. Yes. Uh, you've probably seen me as Doctor slash Nurse Shallot over in Oops All Saiyans. Wonder when that's going to start up again. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Better over here. Slappy with a slipper. Noodle, go! Eh, not like Oh, okay, I'll turn it up then. It's a Jetix. Go. Uh, hi, I'm Noodle Laser. Uh, I'm Coco here. I'm Kunai and File Phantasma. I am the DM of Onryo, uh, which will be hopefully coming back as soon as I can stop having problems with my current living situation. Um, I draw things. It's good times. Oh, yeah, go committal, commission Noodle. Committal. I can't speak. Hi, I have words. <laughs> <laughs> Give Noodle oh. Mum. Oh, commission me, okay? I want him to feel like uh, people like my shit. <laughs> oh, I killed those. I killed I killed those a long time ago. Jack, no, you didn't. Oh, I killed some of them. Jack, our tax is still dead. Hooray? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, I'm Luis. I uh, play Salx here and Camille in, in uh, Oops All Saiyans. Uh, I, I make music, I guess. Uh, my brain is tired. <laughs> so, uh, ah, uh, Twitter, find me on Twitter, uh, Luis Basque Music. A lot of stuff happening. Possible live concert, and within a month, I have to practice. So, yeah, bye. Hell yeah. So, yeah, bye. And last, but certainly not least, 
Our Move hostess forward. with the mostess, Battery Betty. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm Battery Betty. I DM this game. I'm a player in almost every other game except Onrio. Noodle, please getting get back to that at some point so I can have a fucking break. God, you don't have to be so hostile about it. Yeah, but oh, come uh, on, I, barely play Owie. You you're mostly gone for that. Yeah, but I do uh, it. And sidetracking, uh, I uh, am becoming a VTuber soon, uh, unless if you're listening to the recording of this, in which case I've already become a VTuber, um, which, you know, that's very cursed. Um, I'm currently eating a moldy orange. It's not that moldy. I already took the mold off. The and I oh. think I'm ready to start. Oh, wait, wait. This is... Yeah. That is very important. Thank you, Cable. Yes, if you want to want to see my VTuber. The day that used to be St. Patrick's Day, now it's Get Shit Faced Day. Yep. Um. Okay. How do you know? Do you ever meet him? So. I call shit. Uh, there is something I need to do before we uh, start. Uh, the uh, the game today. You need to get um, a not moldy orange. I I need no. I don't have any not moldy oranges. I need to do a pre-stream screen. I'm gonna oh. mute myself. Jack's busy. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's actually currently working on stuff for Digimon in the background too. I found my mojo again. I'm getting back into it. Wrong mojo. No, there isn't. There's Austin Powers' mojo. <laughs> Wait. Ugh. Uh, oh, this orange is sour. VD is saying. Oh my god, hold on. VD is saying something about not hearing anything. Wow, yeah. Cable, you're muted. <sighs> you that, love it. That sh that shouldn't have messed with that. So apparently, apparently they heard. No, that, that I didn't do thing? that for Streamlabs cable. I didn't do that for Streamlabs. That was me. I don't know why I did that though, because I was not doing the and VTuber that testing. Happens, that happens when I don't check the freaking stream. Great job, Luis. Great job. No, it's fine. Don't worry. Luis, dude. don't worry about it. At the very least. I have to worry about it. This is my stick. At the very least, um, hey, I've been recording, so we'll just upload like the recording of the VOD. Or instead also, of the VOD. Say, hey, Cable, introduce yourself again, apparently. Hold on, I'm just changing something right now. All right, Vidi, can you hear me? Oh man, I was muted. That means I could have said any words I wanted. Vidi says you good. You Preach home good. skillet. Cable provider, okay. I do things. Y'all know who I am, y'all know what I do. Um, to recap, because apparently I couldn't be heard, uh, Battery Batty VTuber debut five days from now, March 17th. Twitch.tv yep. forward slash Battery Batty, because if he doesn't remember it, somebody else has to. I'm, Thank you. I'm pissed okay, off you made me else. your nostalgia critic for VTubing. <laughs> uh, it's it's alright. Was Cable the low unmuted, by the way? I don't know. Uh, VD, was there anyone else who was muted? Or was it just Cable? Because if, if it was everybody, that would be fucked up. That would be really bad. In that case, I would just say we would probably just restart the stream right there. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, chat, confirm if it was just me or if there's multiple people. Just Cable. Alright, let's all just do one quick go around and make sure everybody can be heard. Everybody, like, just go down the list in Discord and say something. Uh, Hype says just Cable. Batty! Where's Discord? 
Uh, and me, Blackjack. Uh, it be cable. <laughs> it be cheapy. Uh, you're wrong. Zippity doo da. Noodle is your line. I'm eating noodles. <laughs> <laughs> That's our noodle. Well, oh, of course, that's what I forgot to mention. Hmm. Hey, you accidentally did another video games thing. What? With the skeleton being uh, treasures. There's a, there's a Wii game out there called Zack and Wiki, the quest for Barbarossa's treasure. And you have to collect treasures to create a skeleton. Don't tell me that, Jack. Jack, don't, don't speak words anymore. You're on timeout. Oh, that's a great game! Jack, Yo, do you okay. need to see the Tickle Monster? I will call him. Are we still putting time codes on Bugs X Bones videos, by the way? God, we really I hope should. so. We really should have been. God, I hope so. Listen, alright. Anybody's welcome to help me in going in there and doing that. Okay, because this episode is definitely going to need a time code because I don't want uh, people have to trudge through this. Anyways! Last time! Sad enough, this isn't even our longest. Motherfucking Bugs Expones. What happened? Who wants, who wants, to, who wants to say what happened? Um, we killed a cowboy. No, it's not Dusty. Grifter had more trauma. Last time on Bugs Expones, the party murdered people. Again. It's part of the like A lot. A we, lot more than usual. We we had a we had a fucking captive audience from one of the Badland masochists. They we climbed a mountain unnecessarily and Dustin lost forty years off his life saving Kanzai from dying. Um It wasn't forty. Might as well have been. We made I mean... it, We made it to the top of the fucking cliff to where we had a good vantage point and everybody down there and proceeded to systematically get most of them taken out except for one cheap little so-and-so who got away and we'll hunt her down batty and after that so-and-so got away uh character kind of uh kind of lost his shit and tried oh, yeah. to assault dustin you know what i think that's where all our iron duke for the last two for, for the last week went because jesus christ that took a lot out of me that bit Save and now, here. on to the episode! Uh, but yeah, uh, one of the Badland Massacres got away, they knocked another one of the, the, uh, top members unconscious, and the other one fucking died! Um... I've yet to I spill blood, and I'm upset about this. Tondo's not oh. watched the light leave someone's eyes. Oh, that, that's, that's right, you guys also, uh, discovered the, uh, the, the entrance to the next temple. Mm -hmm. um, which was uncovered by you smashing, uh, freaking, uh, I, uh, uh, I forget his name. Mason uh, the Eel, the most Yeah, Mason the Eel through, talk. like, a fucking door. So congratulations, let's try to find music. And dude, he's going to die, you know that, because he's not getting medical attention, and he does have a major concussion. Listen, I'll take it. I rolled for down. it. I rolled for it, Jack. Uh, so, uh... No, you don't understand, Met. You don't understand how bad concussions can be. Yeah, I, I, I do understand how bad concussions can be, but I also rolled for it. Okay, fair um, enough. So, what should... What kind of song do you think I should play right now? Uh, hmm. Something with a worm. Yeah. So, I don't got any worm songs. You know it's fucked up? I, I do have worm song songs, before. I just can't give them to you right now. I have a worm song too. Wait, Louise, were you about to say something? I, I'm bad. Okay. Okay, I like this. I love something jazzy and bongo-y. Any, nah, uh, any chance you can uh -huh. crank that bitch up, buddy? Uh, I can crank that bitch up. Do you hear it? I like this track. Yep. It's pretty cool. Uh, so I should oh, take you to... Uh, this track. 
It makes me think of like the sound effects from like fucking Akira when those kids are bothering Tetsuo in the hospital. Is it great? That is right. Don't mind uh, me, continue. I'm sorry. It just got to me. So, uh, you guys are on this map. You're currently in front of the temple entrance. All right. So. You have six and five unconscious people, I think, and two dead bodies. Let's see. Well, oh, God damn it, roll 20. I was going to gaze into the uh, inside the temple from the doorway, get a good look at what's going on, if there's a hallway or anything. If there is a hallway. Um, there is no lights. So uh, you just see a stone floor and intricate uh, kind of wall panels uh, with various different designs on them. <sighs> of course, what was I expecting? I guess apparently I was expecting fluorescent lights to welcome us in. You know that that's never that easy. You're very naive, Bifter. What's wrong with you? Look, I can be hopeful, okay? Temper, temper. Uh, uh I don't think I have to say this, but, um, as, uh, one who has, uh, recently learned a very important lesson, watch where you step. That's right, you are a treasure hunter. So, any <laughs> advice about exploring, um, the unexplored? Uh... Again, uh, be aware, uh, and be aware to jump out of, way, out of the way on a moment's notice. You never what's, know what's gonna fall from the ceiling, or, uh, you know, from the floor, or from the walls, or... Uh, I'll poke you in the butt like a sleep dart, or so multiple. Yeah. What you're saying is, in looking over at the unconscious people, that we need trap testers. I mean, it depends what your uh, ethical morale is currently, but um, I suppose you could do that. Hello, I, mean, I, I don't give a shit. Hello, I'm Grifter. Have we met? <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. I'm not dragging the big guy, though. He I am. Me. <laughs> Coco, what, are you, check. what are you planning on doing with him? Uh, tossing him into the hallway. Can we do it? Yeah. Oh my god! You easily pick this man up. <laughs> this man who's probably four times your size. Did you just toss him in the hall? Yeah, well, just basically, uh, and this is gonna sound brutal, but. I'm going to make his body skid across the floor to see if it triggers any traps. Oh my god! Jesus. You're gonna curl this man. Cool. Okay. Um, cool. You do so. Nothing happens. Well, at least that far is safe. Is he waking up any or is he still unconscious? He is out cold, as far as you can tell. <laughs> yeah, He's dead, up. probably. As far as you, as far as you can tell. So what? Do, so what do we do now? Do we just like push him along? I mean, no, yeah. <laughs> what if he cannot be ruled? Did well, you see what I just did? Some people Good are we're fine. <laughs> I was hoping Cable was going to pick up on that I, one. I, I said something. I, did you not hear me? No, I didn't. Oh, Tombo whispered under his breath. Yeah, some people are that flat. They just can't be rolled. <laughs> uh, let me see. Batty, have we checked these people over here if they've got anything on them? You did. Okay. Yeah, we looted everybody. Just make yeah, sure. Body. I want as much things as I can get. Well, Grip is gonna pull his flashlight out. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Was Sarah's gonna do something? Uh. Uh. So, what are we gonna do with those guys? Are we gonna leave them like that? Eh? We're gonna tie them? Or... Why? I mean, we have the rope. I'm fully. I'm. Uh, I'm fully on board with taking them with us. 
Then we gotta carry him. I don't wanna do that. Yeah, but think of the possibilities, Tonbo. Hmm. Coco has the right idea. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think we need to bring them along. Too many extra people around. Actually, you're <sighs> gonna see Tonbo think for a second. What's this temple again? The worm. Now, this could just be me. I don't trust that it's just a worm, but a lot of extra people around make for a bigger heat signature for creatures that detect things like that. Oh. If something is around, it'll make it easier for it to spot us. Okay, okay. Alternate idea. Alternate idea. Let's... You want to just send them off island? That could work. I mean, we already looted them. They don't have any radios. Anybody else object to sending them off the island? Uh, I would like to keep. I would like to keep the big man here as trap detection. Coco, are you gonna feed him? No. Hmm. I trust you'll be good. You take good care of the chickens. <laughs> the chickens are a different story. I like the chickens. You don't know yes, that you don't you like him. You. Give him a chance. You saw how many times he got hit by a shovel. As I walk over and just start pointing the ring at people. Um, okay. So, oh, um, before uh, you send them off the island, I just want uh, to point out a new, different type of class NPC in your, um, in, like, the, the little, where I keep all the NPCs. Did so, you, you got, you got characters, you got friends and contacts, you got acquaintances, and now you have deceased. Deceased! <laughs> Yeah, we got to see. Are you sure that's Terrence Batty? I don't see nearly enough brown on his nose. You know what? Uh, we won't have to worry I'll, about that. I'll I'll, I'll, re I'll redraw. Okay. I think you drew him plenty. Okay. There they go. I'm surprised hey. you didn't put like. You wait. Who is this? Oh, it's Dustin's thing. I'm surprised you didn't put Shroomsy under friends and contacts, Batty. Oh, that was... Yeah, fuck. She, she's she floating, that she's floating off into the void next to Coco without glasses and Dustin's heart. <laughs> there we go. Yep. Dustin can't Fix. run out of time on his heart. Then he can't love anymore. Oh, <laughs> you're, looking at, you're looking at a different Yeah, I'll be dead. You better not be. Listen, I never promised okay. you I wouldn't resurrect you if you die. I got the juice right here, motherfucker. Well, that means yeah. I'm leaving, man. I'm leaving the party for good. Y'all might be leaving the party for good after this temple. We'll see. That'll mm -hmm. be fun. <laughs> wow. Onward and upward. Let's face death and see what the Temple of the Worm has to offer us. That's okay. Okay. I got the fucking dumb name. Um, Ooh, before we go in, I'm established a marching order by placing tokens. Uh, who, who, who is, who is going first into this temple? I would imagine the archaeologist should be first. So, Coco or Leanne? Uh, <laughs> both? I mean, can we go two by two? Yeah. The, the hallway is big enough. So. All right, so Cable, it's either you or I next. Yeah, that was it's two by two, so I was gonna take second fiddle, just perception you watch, just to keep track of stuff. You can you can place your your token wherever you want, Noodle. I just accidentally moved it. Okay. So I'll I'll, I'll go second string just in case I can keep watch over everything. That's what I do. Ah, <sighs> second set of eyes. That's what I'm saying, man. No, I don't stand behind you. Don't oh, God damn it. Hey, we, we got along good after that last session. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit of time for us to get over it, though. You yelled at him. Oh, by the way, is anyone still very injured? Um, I his arm. I'm good. Hey, I'm not down by that much. Because I don't know if I would be still be standing if I had to give any more. So there you go. We need and to find Coco, Coco is just lifting up Mason the eel, I assume. 
Yay. Okay. Um, gonna put you guys there, and we're gonna move over to Chibi. Yeah. <laughs> Mason <laughs> powers over us all. Let's, <laughs> let's go see what Grandpa Candyman is up to. Okay, so Chibi, uh, you are currently <laughs> under whereabouts unknown because you technically do not have a map. Um, right. You just got done killing a lot of low-level thugs. Uh, we entered the scene of Christopher just standing over a pile, uh, or, a, a, like, uh, not a field, but, like, a little, um, you're on the side of the mountain, uh, like a plain of dead bodies. Hmm. Uh, probably, I'd say, about the exact amount, amount of the rest of the bad land masochists. Um, and you're on top of the mountain about to head down. Uh, you're actually kind of on the downward slope. And uh, you actually see a swamp in the distance, uh, followed by um, some sort of rainforest behind it. What, what direction your... would that exactly be? Um, I will show... I'll give you a vague area of where you are. So, um, let me see how to mark this. Um, you're yellow, so you're some... <laughs> yellow? Y yeah. Jack, don't do this to me. <laughs> I, I worked hard on this session. God damn it. <laughs> You're somewhere in this area. Uh, the swamp. I'm gonna do, like, neon green. Is probably around here. And... Probably somewhere here is where the forest starts. Again, these are vague estimates. Hmm. So I gotta tread through a bog if I want to get to the forest. Correct. Uh, since I still have a bit of advantage point, I'm gonna whip out my binoculars and I'm gonna look around, see if I can spot any landmarks that might, at least to a treasure hunter, seem interesting. Okay. Hold on just a second while I... Don't know if we're going to use this recording, but just in case, I'm going to darken the screen for a second so I can look at this. Um, so, you're looking for big landmarks? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think what you would see from this distance. Um, the fog would have actually cleared up at this point, and you would have a better vantage point than the rest of everybody else at that time. Um... Ooh, okay. You would roll me a perception check. You're gonna see a couple things outright, but um, I want to see if you get anything specific. I'm gonna mark all these in twenty-three red. Oh, that is good. So, just starting out, you see a very tall tree somewhere in this area. Hmm. Um. You would see a giant snow-covered mountain over here. Oh, do you see that? Yeah. Okay. And I'm looking at the map real quick. You would also see some sort of lake maybe over here on this little like uh i don't even know what you call that nub mm. um but other than that uh mostly all you can see from this vantage point is forest okay so no like smoke clouds or anything that would indicate people that's fair uh, as far, uh, how, what was your perception? 23. Hmm. <laughs> what way are you looking specifically? Or are you just, like, scanning the area? Um, mostly trying to look a bit closer, uh, inland. 
Okay. You would see a smoke cloud right here. All right, I know where I'm going then. Okay. But first, I'm going to kind of sack through these uh, these corpses here. Uh, I mean, they're not using their shit anymore. <laughs> uh, roll survival check. Can do. One second. That is um, okay. Seven. You, uh, you find about five ammo... Um, between them all, you're only gonna find about 700 Jenny. <laughs> well, that's useless to me, but all right. Uh, and you find one of those hula girl bobbleheads in one of their jackets. That's worth more than they're all their Jenny combined. It really is. That's the worst part. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also, uh, if you want, uh, one of them has a a jacket. Oh, kind of jacket. <laughs> It's like, it's not like, um, it's like, uh, I don't know what you would call it, a tweed. It's like a, a tweed jacket. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> you motherfucker brought a tweed jacket to the jungle? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a jacket, basically, think like of a like... Professor. Think of a British college professor. Oh, oh. You yeah. know what? Fuck it. I'll take it. Oh, um, <laughs> I'll take official. it. Fuck it. We're fighting Steve Harvey. We need to get ready to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll take it. Uh, that's, what, that's what you find out for them. And I will begin my descent. Okay. Um. I am you know actually what? the direction which I am going. I am heading actually towards the giant tree. The, the giant tree first. Yes, because at least with my my, uh, my thought process is that campfire is a uh, oddly close to that giant tree. Either they're camped up not too far from it because they're trying to investigate it, or well, that's just a perfect vantage point for me to shoot them. Okay, um, Chibi, I'm gonna say you're going to actually be you're gonna travel on the basis that we're um basic like I, I how do i say this for the sake of everybody being busy doing stuff um we're probably gonna actually skip a lot of the extra movement you would have to do so you're actually actively moving faster yeah but i will say and you're not 100 in sync with the party um you can get about through the uh the um swamp but it'll probably take about a, a day's travel all right i'll do okay. that um roll me a general survival check to see how you fare until night time hmm. wow CX. Not great. Um, you're not used to um uh you know wilderness jungle area. Uh your your new tweed jacket starts to fray um after being exposed to water and mud. Tweed tweed's not really that water resistant. Um and oops. Uh as you're trudging through the swamp. Um, you roll me a perception check. That's a 26. Something swimming towards you and it's big. All right. I don't have much time to really react to anything outside of, well, get the fuck away from it. Uh, yeah. What's around me? Um... So, there is kind of a little muddy island in the middle of the swamp. Uh, there, it will probably take you a little bit to, you're probably going to actually have to swim towards that. Um, there is a log. Um, you're kind of like, currently you're like knee deep in water right now. 
Um, other than that, you can try to trudge to the other side of the swamp, but it's going to take longer than if you got to the island, but you would have to swim to the island. All right. Well, I will move to the island, but since you're saying that the tweed jacket's already a bit shit, uh, wasn't planning to hold on to it much anyways. Uh, I am going... How deep is this, like, swamp water at all? Um, where you're standing, it again, it's only about knee deep. Okay. But your ankles are in mud. I am going to actually put the tweed jacket down, like, behind me. I'm going to step on it uh, in the line of where that thing is coming from. That way, okay. at least in, in Christopher's thought process, that way if it's coming towards Christopher, it's going to get a face first of jacket first. Okay. Um, so, in the process of you doing it, it, it is going to catch up to you. Right. Um, I'm going to roll to hit. Oh, does 11 hit Christopher? No. Okay, so you see come out of the water um, some giant gator-like creature. Um, it has blue scales and is very rotund. Um, the It has a very narrow snout and um, it kind of like jets out to uh, both the left and right it of it on the very end, almost making like an anchor or like a hammer shape. Um, mm. And it is going to try to bite at you, but you're able to nearly dodge out of the way after just... Uh, what were you tr trying to do with the tweed jacket? The tweed jacket was was being put in its way, so that way if it even got anywhere close to me, it would just get a face full of jacket. Okay, uh, you do so. Um, And it looks like it is momentarily distracted. Because right. it doesn't know what the fuck's happening. And I will uh, just get the hell out of Dodge on that one. Okay, you going to the island or you going to the other side of the swamp? I mean, getting out of here is probably the best idea. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to say you make it about 30 feet until it rips up the jacket. Um, It's going to come towards you. You're dashing technically, right? Mm-hmm. It is difficult terrain, um, but I, I have a question. Um, what's your class, or do you know it? Uh, I believe it's outlaw. Outlaw. Um, okay, so I'm gonna say if you're using all your actions to dash, um, you're gonna make it. All right, I will definitely do so. Um, this thing's gonna try to follow you onto land. Oh, that's actually what I was hoping for. Okay. What are you doing? Um, so now now that I'm on land, what what's around me? I uh, so uh there's a muddy uh like swamp bank. Uh there's various different uh types of you know, uh like dog tails and uh I don't know what they're called, but the type of like long grass that like grows straight up from um water. Cattails? Cattails. Yeah, cattails, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, a bunch of, like, uh, swamp-esque foliage around you, and then uh, a couple of jungle trees a little farther away. Uh, you notice something weird about these jungle trees? Um, they're green on top, um, and you can see them from the village, but the underneath of all the leaves are purple. So, as you're finally getting close to the trees... What was once a green jungle now uh, seems to have turned completely purple, even though it's just a difference of perspective. Hmm. And then I got a weird gator thing following me. Yep. Hmm. Well, I am actually going to rip up uh, from the ground some of the cattails. Uh, and I don't know for flavor's sake, but would I have potentially the, the option of having a lighter on me? Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna give it to you. 
Because okay. we didn't establish your entire inventory to begin with. No, we didn't. <laughs> did we? We did not. <laughs> okay. Literally, so, the only thing I have is is leather armor, and that I would assume fun. Christopher would have a lighter on him. Mm -hmm. I am going to actually light the cattails. Um, Ooh. And I am going to place it in the gator's path. Uh, fun thing about uh, living out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, uh, there are cattails around here. If they are burned or they get like trampled on in any way, they smell awful. <laughs> I'm going to need to make a con save for this gator. It fails. Um, it is making its way towards you. And it, it like when you see it get out of the water, um, it's a lot more imposing. Um, think about twice the size of a normal gator, um, and its legs and feet are a lot more, I guess, thicker than, like, a normal gator. Like, it, it almost, like, looks closer to what you would see, like, like, uh, a stegosaurus, like, having to wear a very flat, uh, uh, feet with, like, um claws very sharp claws on the end of it um it is stomping its way towards you and despite the fact that it's it's sloshing through mud uh the ground is actually shaking as it it's coming towards you um but uh it second it gets a whiff of the uh cattails it starts like slipping and sliding and it scurries the other way mm -hmm. I am going to just uh, leave those burning cattails uh, right near the swamp front, and I'm leaving. I have no reason to hang around with this. Okay. So you're heading to this tree first, correct? Yep, the tall ass tree. Okay. I will be keeping low, though. <laughs> um. Okay, I th think we'll go another... Uh, so... It's currently night time. Are you setting up camp or are you going to continue onward? I am continuing onward. Okay. I'm going to roll. Um, that's fun. Okay, roll me another survival check. 17. 17. Um, you feel something... Um... Okay, I need a roll. Does A14 hit you? No. Um, you see something buzzing toward you, but you're able to um, notice it just in time. It looks like some sort of flying wasp, and it's trying to s sting you. Um, it, it has these weird, like... You can... It, it's... Insides are almost invisible, and what gave it away is that it actually... Um, the inside of its body is like actually glowing somewhat. Okay. Um, but it looks like it, it's trying to go after you. So it looked big enough that a machete will get rid of it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna try to smack it. <laughs> it's about the size of a mouse. That's actually not that big, all things considered. Yep. Compared to some of the other things on this island, yeah. Uh, nine is not gonna hit this thing. It's gonna get no another attack on off of you. That's oh, weird. that's an that's a nat twenty. Oh my god. Um, so, Chibi, you take four poison damage. Okay, Make cool. me a con saving throw. Cool, because you know I am great at con saves. Thirteen. Okay. Do I have my uh, body dice on me? I do have my body dice on me. I just need to find it. Excuse me momentarily. Sorry, guys. Okay. It uh, stings you in, in the left hand. Uh, your left hand feels a little numb, but not as numb as it could be. Well, isn't that fun? Okay. You gonna take another whack at this thing? Sure. 
This is 17. That's going to hit it. You slice in half. Okay. Um, your hand's a little stiff. And uh, the uh, sting mark is swollen at this point. Well, that's just fun. As someone who's actually been stung by a wasp in the foot before, I, I am familiar with this numbing sensation. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to say you continue onward. Uh, roll me a stealth check. Okay. Ten. Ten. Okay. Uh, nothing of concerning origin seems to notice you. Um, but eventually you make it to the giant tree. Um, Chibi, you're from... Uh, considering where you're from, you're probably familiar with Redwoods, right? Yeah. Um, imagine a giant redwood tree, um, but the underneath of all the leaves, um, have this semi like reflective surface to them. So you've seen like, uh, the purple underbrush of the forest up to this point. Um, even the slightest twinge of light, uh, basically sends like the bottoms of these leaves kind of like churning in this like psychedelic psychedelic like reflective light almost like a kaleidoscope or like a bubble it's really fucking trippy um but yeah uh in comparison this thing is probably the size of a skyscraper if not bigger and that is in both height and width and you notice on the side of it uh, it is actually looking over a giant gorge. Um, because you have found a landmark, Chibi. Hmm. I'm going to put your token on the map. Okay. So, can you see giant, yourself? Giant Christopher, yes. Um, I'm going to do something real quick. So... More specifically, the tree is encompassing this area. The gorge is around here. So between between the tree and the campsite. Correct. Huh. And the uh, the campsite seems to have not have moved at this point. All right. Well, I am going to, since I had my climbing gear from uh, back when I was climbing that mountain, I'm going to climb the tree. <laughs> okay. Roll me a nature check. Okay, I can do it. Oops. Okay. So you start climbing the tree? Mm-hmm. Um... You take five slashing damage. Oh. As not familiar um, with this kind of tree, um, you reach out to touch it. Um, the bark, which looked flat um, from almost every angle, you realize was actually protruding out. And uh, you look and you see that it's actually makes almost like these wooden uh, like Axe shapes jutting from the tree, and you cut your hand. So it's hmm. Now that's interesting. Um, gonna strangely to... enough, you do hear wildlife above you that are living in the tree. Really? Yeah. What does it sound like? Uh, mainly chirping noises, I'm gonna say, with that nature check, uh, you probably wouldn't recognize probably birds and rodents and stuff like that. Ah, uh, birds, squirrels, and shit. Alright. You know what? That's uh, actually quite beneficial. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna quickly pull out my machete, and I'm going to cut a little bit from this tree. I just wanna see... 
what the uh, what the inside looked like real quick. Uh, like below the bark. Yeah. Um, roll to hit the tree, and then uh, roll damage. Okay. Can do. Okay, damage. Uh, you're able to cut off quite a bit of bark enough to like look at the underneath. Um, this tree has very thick bark, but um, you're you know how to use a machete mm -hmm. uh, in your line of work. Um, and uh, you see underneath the bark, and it, it's like this spongy, almost beige type of wood. It looks very, very soft and squishy. All right. So, figure in here, this tree has got a metallic reflective leaves, at least for the underside. The uh, bark itself is serrated and is being hidden by the fact that the reflective leaves uh, give it an illusion property. That's interesting. Also, birds live in there. Or whatever. Who knows? Good to know. Yeah. We'll keep that in mind. Could be useful for something later. Okay. You continuing forward? Uh, no, I'm going to climb a nearby tree. One that isn't serrated. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll me athletics. Or acrobatics. Be a choice. Would it help if I'm using climbing gear? <laughs> yes, it would. It would give you an advantage, actually. Okay. I will use acrobatics. 16. 16. You're able to climb the tree. All right. And I am going to take out my rifle, and I am going to peer across towards the camp. Okay. Um. Oh, boy. You see a single camp. Uh, there's a campfire. There's a tent. And you would see this individual. Let's see if I can uh, find their uh, thing real quick. Uh, hold on. Okay. It is... N Question. Do you know what Daryl looks like? Uh, Daryl? I believe, yes, I do know. <laughs> okay, this guy you see is definitely not Darrow. Um, you see this man? Uh, he's currently <laughs> yawning in a hammock. Oh my god. Uh, you see a man with a poofy, almost like like matted grungy uh blonde hair that kind of sticks out in every direction uh sideburns uh freckles tan skin uh he's wearing these kind of like weird psychedelic looking shades uh that are like pink and purple and blue uh he has like a little bit of scruff he's wearing a puka shell necklace uh, and a Hawaiian uh, t-shirt and shorts. You made this to spite me, didn't you? No, <laughs> this, this, this guy was the one you saw. This is the guy that ha was lighting the campfire. <sighs> this is, you made Kaya to spike cable. This is not Kaya. <laughs> the he, glasses and the puka shell necklace say otherwise. Listen, Listen, okay. Can everybody this guy stop? Might Batty is trying Kaya. to be a good DM. Just let's just see where he's going with this. <laughs> okay. You cable. Fuck you. You notice he's wearing flip flops and he looks like he is not fit to be surviving in the forest right now at all. Is there any evidence that there might be more than just him? Considering that you only see like one small tent uh, with a hammock. Uh, and a single campfire with, like, a lawn chair. Um, you also would notice some beer cans, actually, if you're using your scope. Um, yeah, uh, you, uh, you don't notice anything else. Anyone else. Or you can assume that there's no one else around him. 
All right. I am going to... You know, I feel like I should just flip a coin for real quick. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to roll a d4. <laughs> Fuck, fine. <laughs> I will climb down the tree and I am just going to uh, casually go towards the fucking camp. Okay. So, when we return to Chibi, we'll see what he sees. We have a temple to get to, though, my friends. Yeah, temple time. Yay. It's temple time again. I, like I rolled for if I was just going to shoot him or not. <laughs> oh, I should have oh, shot him. That would have been funny. Um, He's oh, done nothing to you, alright? This should is have a shot normal him. Square between the eyes. Make sure his brain's painted the trees. <laughs> damn hot topic. Do we need damn. all that? <laughs> um, so you guys are heading into the temple, correct? Yard. Uh, just, no, we're gonna go home for the day. Just before we start, is everybody here? Uh, give me like half a second, but yes, I am here. I can still hear you. I'll be on mute. Cable's first. here. Hi. Noodle, are you here? Hello. Uh, Dan, Luis, are you here? What is what I do? Okay, <laughs> I'm just making sure. Um, okay. Uh, Cable, are you back yet? He's back. Okay. <laughs> so you guys uh, start going down the hallway, and um, eventually you enter some sort of room. Um, does everybody have their flashlights on them? Yes. I had mine off from the start. Yar. Um, because the second, uh, so you've been like looking at the side of these walls. There's no, like, specific iconography on these, but you do notice these very intricate uh, patterns and designs. And when you reach this large room, um, you notice a... Something happened the second you step through it. Um, all of the lights inside this room... Um, wh who's first in the turn order? Would that be Leanne or Coco? Uh, you want to roll for it? Uh, we can. Heads or tails? Uh, tails. Heads. So Leanne steps through first. Um, <laughs> she steps in first. Um, there's the same, like, intricate, like, patterns on the walls of the room that she enters through. Um, but they all start to glow up this, like, fl uh, fluorescent, like, yellow color that, uh, lights up the room. And I'm going to take you guys to the map. Oh, I want to stay looking at this guy, though. He'll be there in spirit. Why was, um, I, why was I the only one here, Batty? What were you testing on me? I always use Tonbo as my guinea pig. Um, I'm going to see where you want to go through. Oh, no. Um, so... Look at those things in the back. Those jewels are colored after Japan's mightiest ninja, oh. the mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, Toxic cable. And who am I forgetting? Six. Jack, Tommy Oliver was a ninja. We watched him kick a man to death. He did straight up <laughs> <laughs> someone in the neck and killed them. I gotta remember to put that in here as our stream started soon. Screen. Okay, so uh, you guys enter the room. Uh, you see a giant uh, square room with a uh, stone brick flooring. Um, to your left you see eight statues um all very simple uh vaguely depicting the shape of uh, people um they all have markings in different parts of their body um however uh to your right um you see small uh inscriptions uh uh like stone basically these glowing amber st stones on pedestals that all have different um, inscriptions oh. on them. No. Is it me or is this two on the nose? 
This is extremely on the nose. I don't like that there's eight of us. This no, is... I think it's more, it's... Uh, connect them to the right one. It's the most simplest of puzzles. Yeah, the but... fact that we are eight makes it even more on the nose. Yeah, it, it upsets me that there's eight. Count if you count unconscious man here. Okay, I feel, oh. be I feel better now. Thank you, Coco. Mason the heel. I need to help. Tondo hugs you slightly. You did alleviate his stress. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, how convenient. Quick, throw him, throw him in the middle of the room. I was thinking the same thing. Freddy, can I do something real quick before we start? Yes. Um, Do I have... um? Does anybody have, like, a pair of glasses or just, like, a very thin piece of, like, uh... Or, like, a magnifying glass or anything I can borrow. I have a magnifying glass. It's part of my tools. Can I borrow it real quick? Sure. All right, I'm just going to put that under Mason's nose. I want to see if he fogs up the glass on the magnifying glass to know if he's breathing or not. Uh, you did? Um, now I can tell you guys. He rolled a nat 20 on his con save. He is still breathing. Okay, because... Ah. Fuck. Fuck. I had to make sure, because if he's unconscious, it's no, fine for Coco to take him, but I'm not going to let Coco be that weird kid who just has a corpse. <laughs> Listen, I'm only keeping the corpse around because he's useful. The instant he stops being useful, he's gone. I'm going to say, in this world, that's normal. No, I can change normal, damn it. I'm not going through that. We're not sending Coco to alternative school because she rips the head off a squirrel. <laughs> and I can't have to send her anyway. You're not sending me back to boarding school, I refuse! No one's sending you back there. Just don't break anyone's arm this time. Listen, that's the least of your concerns. Um, you know. Well, Leanne, Coco, Dustin, this is your area. I'll make sure nothing attacks us, but you all do what you do best. Um, everybody who wants to roll me a perception check. Is this sight based or sound based? This is sight based. Alright. So I have Advantage on this body. 19. 24. 28. Fuck you. So. <laughs> Where's my character? What? The artist formerly known as Sayox. So, uh. Grifter, Dustin, Tombo, this is what you three specifically would notice. Um, so, um, you look in the very center of the room, there's some cracked paneling. Uh, actually, Tombo would only notice that one. Um, Tombo would also only notice that there is some sort of script on all of these pieces. They are all different. And in the same language that is um, written on all of these amber pieces, Dustin and Grifter, you'd also notice this. You look behind you, there is something written above the door where you just came in. In the same script. Hello, what's this? Yeah, like Alright. <sighs> Takes glasses out, puts them on. Aww. Puzzle time. Let's begin. Yeah, glasses. Only when I need to. That's adorable. As I go walk over to the cracked floor. Um, okay. So, this is a blue script. There are two people in your party that can read blue potentially. So, Leanne can just read it outright. Coco, because she's spent so much time studying the book, um, she can make a history check very low DC. Uh, to try to read it herself if she so chooses. 14. That's gonna do it. You look at this. Um, it says Trial of Confidence. Well, that's pretentious. Uh, no. I, uh, other than a test, I don't know what that can mean. Well, um, we'll read what's on everything else in the room. We gotta get I don't have to tell you guys, but puzzle. please don't destroy anything if we don't have to. I'm not planning on touching most things if I don't have to. 
All right, which stats should we start with? The statues or the gems? Uh, probably the statues. I'd be more worried about those those things attacking us from a distance. We'd have to gem. Never know if an arrow or dot's gonna pop out or snakes. I would keep your eyes on Kanza if I were you and Bisky. No, no, I learned my lesson. Wait, where is Bisky? Yeah, where where has she gone to? I have no idea, and I don't think I want to know. Ugh. Figure she'd let leave me babysitting. Babysitting, baby that's food. Not you, Dusty. You beautiful. I mean, not you're not beautiful. Fuck. I, I heard that. Yeah. You said that out loud. Fuck. Anyway, let's look at this first statue. Kanzai is cautiously staying like thirty feet away from it. Everything I just want to say. Uh, the first statue. Um, mm -hmm. You're going to have a visual reference for this in a second, but I'm just going to outright tell you. Um, you see a statue. Um, it is vaguely humanoid. It has an X on its stomach. Okay, hold on. Oh, it's uh, it's XV mine. It means. Uh, what would point to the numbers? Number one. Um, also, if you're writing this down, um, you are going to have a reference for this in a moment, so um, you can still write it down I'm, if you want. I, with puzzles, I need to write stuff down as well. Okay, uh, fair enough. You know I look like puzzles. <laughs> well, if no one's going to do anything, I'm going to be on to the second one. Second one has an X on its like like this side of its body like right next to the stomach so the love handle area right it, yeah on its waist yeah on its waist on waist yeah on its left or right waist side uh it is uh right waist it's it's right well dustin's looking at statues baddie you said there was like a crack in the floor that i noticed yeah. I would want to check that out, see what it's about. It looks like some of the brick has been shattered is in it, the center of the floor. Is it possible to make an educated guess as to how that happened? Uh, yes. Um, I would say intelligence check just flat out, right? Could it be an investigation check? That works off of it. Oh, yeah, no, investigation. I forgot that was a thing. God damn it. <laughs> this is why I have to have a, a character sheet up, just so I remember all the stuff. Oh, yeah, do. something fell on it. No, no. Hey, Dustin. Mm-hmm. And I gesture towards the cracks in the ground and then over towards the statue. Something tells me if we get these things wrong, something bad will happen in here. And I... Uh, Show him like the cracks in the floor, and that it looks like something heavy dropped here. Might be best I'm gonna to... like give a whole the uh, a scan to the room and use my historical knowledge. Historical knowledge. The ox is gonna be over here, just looking at them. I'm specifically using it just on this room right now. So I mean, I can um, obviously tell it's a puzzle room, but I just feel like. This is like a trial room to guard a very specific thing. Um, you don't know what that thing is currently, but this was probably to keep um, some sort of uh, thieves out of this area. So, so this has probably something that you have to solve. It's not far away enough. Backing up. All right, I'm gonna keep going on the road with the statues then. Okay. Third statue, uh, X mark on its neck. The fifth statue has an X mark on its eye. Third and fifth. I'm only on the fourth. Oh, the fourth. Yeah, yeah he doesn't believe in four. I, I I I skipped a number. So the fourth has an X mark over its eye. Which eye? Um, hold on just a second. Let me look. It's brown eye. Oh. Don't, don't, don't you dare. Motherfucker. Uh, Disgusting. Oh, I, I marked it down wrong to the left, 
the reference, but it's its left eye. Alright. Oh, uh, I've disappeared. Uh, I accidentally clicked delete, hold on. Oh no. Wait, delete? How the hell did you delete your token? You just click on it and then either click backspace or delete. Okay. Uh, going down the line, uh, fifth one has an X mark over its heart. Ah, wrong notes. Ah, fuck, everything's fucking up. Hold on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dustin's going crazy. Cons, I take the shot. You love him the most. <laughs> Sorry. Different programs open up at the bottom, like, and different note files. Anyway, carry on. Number six. Six. Uh, six has uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six has an X mark. Did, did I tell you the one with the X mark over its heart? Yes. So yes. Five. Okay, so six it has an X mark over its forehead. Mm -hmm. Seventh has an X mark over its mouth. And mm -hmm. the last one has an X mark in the middle of its body, uh, potentially uh, like where its uh, rib slash lower rib slash diaphragm is. Okay. Okay. So what's the deal with these amber stones? I'm I'm looking over in that direction. They all have Bulu Empire script. Um, wait, did you read the book too? I did. So you're not gonna have the DC is gonna be higher for you, but you can try to also roll to try to understand these two. Okay, dope. Let's say history. Yep. Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, you can kind of make out some potential words it could be, but you don't have a full grasp on what everything is. You're you probably gonna need help from somebody else. You only know digi code. Stand the exact meaning. I can't quite make out these words. Coco, would you be able to give me a hand over here? Oh, fine, you lazy bones. <laughs> lazy bones, nothing. You have the book. Listen, I memorized the book. I know you did. Hush, you. You're being way too sassy with me. God. <laughs> this is what happens when we give Coco sugar. Also, it's not fair if I don't make Lee. Like, do you want to roll? Me? Yeah. Go ahead and roll again, Coco. Sure. What are we rolling again? Uh, History. Historia. Yep. Hey. Hey. Um, you wouldn't understand I'm going to roll for Leanne. Okay, Leanne is going to get it. So, Coco, um, yeah. the script on these, again, like, you know a couple of potential words that each of these could be, but you don't know the exact word. Um... Leanne is going to come in and tell you what each of these means. All right. And I'm going to show you a reference after I tell you. But um, from left to right, um, in red script, hold on, my thing's not opening up for me. In red script, you see the word that has land. Uh, in blue script, you see uh, on the next uh, amber uh, stone, you see the word that has pedigree. Um, next one in green script is suffering. In orange script, you see the word toil. In purple script, poverty. In pink script, intellect. In yellow script, contentment. And in black script, nothing. Jesus Christ, you went so fucking fast, I couldn't type all that. I got well, it. You're gonna, you're about to see it, so show to everyone. Ah. I had to see what you guys rolled to read the, the script before. <laughs> Worm temple puzzle. Um, and I'm gonna stay uh, just outright with your perception checks. 
um, there is a place uh, to set all of these stones, potentially. Um, now, um, roll the... Anyone who wants can roll me a history check. Who has been to Temple... Um, the temple on Island Sea. Haven't we all been there? Oh, all of us. Yeah, everyone. Eleven. Uh, where are you, history? Thirteen. Double twenty-four. Fuck mm. you, combo. I get this one. You know, okay. I was happy for you. You were mean. You were mean to me. I'm gonna be the bigger person here. Good job, Dustin. Um, <laughs> you so, um, on Island C, you guys came across a very specific mural. Um, you remember there was a depiction of um, eight entities that were all um, the successor to the royal line underneath the king. So, the king's children, essentially. Um, based on what Coco told you, you can probably discern that these are probably the depictions of them specifically. And that each word corresponds with a different heir to the throne. Do we know anything about the about them as persons? Maybe that could have helped us. Don't suppose it's in the book you wrote, Leanne. Uh I'm gonna roll something for Leanne. We uh knew about the uh the heirs. Um we don't know uh what all of them specifically represented or were about. Uh, she's trying to her hardest to like think of her background knowledge. All we know so far is that the king was trying to find a successor because he was trying to ascend to godhood and needed somebody to watch over the kingdom. We don't know about the individual's heirs themselves though other than that they were all potential contenders for the throne. Oh, that's a bit. That's a heap of load of nothing. Yeah. Huh. That's I'm why so we came fair. up here, because we wanted to find out more about them. Uh. Hmm. Can you take just makeshift guesses at what these would match up? We can't make we can't make any guesses oh, I'm right not now. Touching them. I'm just I'm just making hazard. I'm just making haphazard <sighs> guesses. I'm not touching a damn thing. Maybe it'd be and this is just an educated guess, but intellect for the forehead one. That's what I was thinking too. What if, what if the one at the side, like the one at the side of the waist, what if that was poverty, like an empty pocket? Could be. What if the one in the direct center is nothing? Hmm. Direct center, there's eight of them. Well, the the one with the X oh, in the direct okay. center of them. The whole of the whole of nothing, or just the core. Do I sell it? See, they'd be suffering. That's also a good guess. <sighs> well, nah, if suffering might be the heart. Is there yeah. any other... Would any of the walls we pass by, with any mural... Would there be any murals or anything that we could look at? In this temple specifically, no, so far. Uh... There has to be some sort of hint in here. If there isn't, there's no way to solve this puzzle. And that's not a puzzle, that's just a death trap. 
Maybe that's There's the There's always idea. some hint to the puzzle. Maybe the hint's not here. Maybe we unfortunately weren't supposed to come to this one first. Those four, is, those four temples represent. Those four temples represent like the four. Uh, out of char out of character, they represent like those four um like sub gods, right? Just below the uh, big one. Um. Yes. So I can actually. Uh, I'll show it to players again. Uh, because you guys do have this mural in your notes. Um, so, um, you have the main primary deity, which is synonymous with heaven, the god beetle, um, four lesser deities, um, the eagle, the worm, the dragonfly, and the monkey, um, below him is the giant, below him's the king, and below him are the princes, or the, uh, the heirs, rather. I hope this wasn't supposed to be in an order like you're supposed to go eagle, worm, dragonfly, monkey. Hmm. Without someone just randomly putting these in any order, I don't see how we can do this without the right information. And there's a high risk of death. Especially right now there is. <laughs> The sad thing is we might have to come back later for this one. I have a weird idea. Yes. Um Batty, out of character. Um yeah. how far away does the trap seem to be, like from where these statue thingies are? Uh the trap? Well we don't know yeah. these traps. Well you can assume so because there's like didn't you say that there's like like boulders that have fell from the ceiling? Oh yeah, there's no, damage. Those crack the floor. There's, there's damage on the floor. It just it looks like something. Um, I can mark where it is specifically. Hold on. Yeah. I have a, a a horrifying theory, and it's the whole room is dangerous in itself. There's uh, nowhere to stand in here. Uh, let's mark. I was going to say that she can just take her shuffle, with the extendo feature, plop the thing in from ten feet away. And see what happens. Okay. We can, you know, test this out first with one that we're fairly confident in that is correct. Uh, it might, if we don't have anything to go off, it might just be process of elimination for these. The fact that we don't know what happens when we get this wrong is the biggest and main threat right now. What we is can't the try anything until we get more information. I mean, worst case scenario, Grifter, if the door closes and we really do get stuck in here, uh, Tombo's gonna, like, wave the ring. It'll suck to find a way back up here again, but... <sighs> well, we're I don't want to try... I don't want to do this, though, is the thing. Like I said, we... Information is everything, especially when it comes to this. What were we saying, I say we... Okay, going. Yeah. Uh. I was saying, I think we should have come back at some other time. Because if we can't find anything to help us in here, we're not going to find anything. We can't try this out because it is too dangerous. Unfortunately, I'm inclined to agree. I have a weird idea, but I don't know how good it'll be. Grifter, don't try it. Or Dustin, rather. Grifter, when you put the sword into the ground, like at that weird marking where the worm thing came out of, it gave you a bracelet, right? Yes. What if that's supposed to help us with this? It does have specialist men on it. Oh, I didn't try putting anything into this yet, did I? We never tested it. Oh, I guess I'll... Actually, I'd rather not do it in here, is the thing. In case it explodes. Yeah. Like, maybe I'm gonna walk outside and try it. We... Yeah, this, the hairpin revealed that thing pretty close to where this temple's supposed to be. Maybe it's... 
You can't solve this puzzle unless you have the hairpin and found that. Mm. Bit, of a, bit of a stretch, don't you think? I mean, they're Not right. too much of a stretch. We don't know how many of these things are hidden around the whole island itself, just in general. But I mean, it was really close that we found this. Like, really, really close. Uh, Specialist Ned is weird. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> You're a dinosaur it's that stops time. Thing. You're a anyway. Anyone want to join me outside? See what this thing does first. I'll go with you. You already know I have reservations on that. Grifter, you stay in here. Yep. Okay. Dustin, how so... come you didn't call your Nen Time Ranosaurus? Because that's stupid. Wow. <laughs> you heard you hurt me twice today. Just walks outside with him. Okay. Uh you're going outside. Hold on. As soon as I make sure we're alone, as soon as he says that, I'll hug him. Don't tell anyone. That is two hugs now. Dumbo will smile. He feels content. Anyway, back to plot. Okay. So you guys are testing out the um was it an armband? It yeah. Was. It was the armband. Yeah. Also, I um, need to relay this to you guys right now, just on the off chance, because PCs can be really fucking stupid. It's telling me now I have a scheduled restart that it needs to make. If by chance it just fucking starts doing that, just hold off and we can kind of start stream up again. Okay. If we don't want to save the recording and put that up. But. Oh. No. It's, it, I don't think it is for this temple. Because there's a dragonfly temple as well. No, the ring was for the dragonfly. This was, yeah, this the was ring, for the ring. Leanne's ring was the dragonfly. This one was the worm. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have my notes wrong then. Nope, I've been keeping track of all this. Okay. Let's go pour some net into this thing and so see what it does. Treasure based on the worm. There we go. Because someone told me the blue dragonfly last time. I don't know who it was, but you made me get my notes wrong. Mm -hmm. You feel bad. We, we were probably all talking at once and got all kerfuffled. Anyway. Uh, Dustin. I'm going to this thing. If you don't mind, let me be the one to test it, simply because when it comes to temples and stuff like this, you're a lot more useful. I was just thinking if it's specialist, maybe it needs another specialist, but all right. And I will hand him the island bee ring. I don't know if all these items are going to get aggro and jealous. Nah, I think it's on the grifters. That's pissed. I hate his sword. I never met it. I hate him right now, though. It's very posh. And then... Oh. Grifter's just... Grifter's going through a lot right now. As I'm I understand it. But my feelings are still hurt. Yeah, just hug him. And <laughs> I'm gonna slap this on, Batty. Okay. And I will pour some net into it. You feel a calm wash over you. You don't know what it means. Oh, that's right, I did do that. But you feel like you feel safe. Huh. I swear to God, this thing just boosts AC slightly. <laughs> oh, you're back. Jesus, I need that. I don't know if it's, it's not exploding. Guess we could go back inside and try it then. I'm feeling confident about it. I'll just walk back in with Dustin. So, feel any different? I feel very safe right now. Wait. Give it back. I want it. I had it. Dustin, didn't you say the same thing? Yeah, when I first put it on. 
That's weird. Funny how it didn't make you feel safe, Grifter. Yeah, funny. I mean more just subjectively funny, not humorous funny. <sighs> Don't think I'm allowed to with this. Is well, your uh, sword currently sheep? Uh, yeah. Okay. If, if I'm not actively holding it, it's sheep next to me. That was okay. Good. That was going to be my next point, where if the bracelet wasn't doing anything. Do I, does, does it feel any different in this room with this bracelet, Patty? Um, in this room, you feel safer for yourself? <clears throat> Fucking knew it, it boosts AC, give it back. Well, there goes that idea. Grifter, what about the hairpin? Does it point to anything? Why don't we do, why don't we do that first? I don't know. Hesitantly pull out the hairpin. Oh boy. I'm going to have to roll a perception check. <laughs> is, this, is the sword? <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you over there, you blue oh, bracelet fuck bitch. you. The second you pull it out of the sheath, it points directly to this statue right here. It's pointing at number two. The right side. Waste. Yeah, it's right. The right. Wait waste. a minute. Hold up, phone. Oh, please don't tell me. The sword used to belong to a prince of the Blue Empire. So it used to belong to number two, I'm guessing. What was number two? What happened to... Uh, number two, the axe was on its right waist. What do we know about him? Not much that I know of. I mean, you may have been in contact with him. Look, any contact made with that with neighbor, whatever was inside that sword, was not contacting me as a prince of the Blue Empire. Maybe it's. Maybe, maybe it was. Maybe okay. you're the most like him. That's why it's most... sticking. What are you trying to say, Tonbo? You're a royal pain in the ass. Out of those eight <laughs> words, which one of them would identify with you the most? No, 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 no. I am not choosing three on that. It's probably three if that's the first one you gravitated towards. <sighs> At the same time, I could have gravitated towards two. But you didn't. <sighs> the second you say three and two, it kind of goes limp. Hmm? I'm guessing that might be right. Oh, I'm saying one of the others. See what happens. Four? Not you, oh. him. Alright, sword. Hairpin. Prince. Toil. It gets a lot stronger. Hmm. Poverty. It goes lump again? Intellect. It goes long. Contentment. Goes long. Nothing. It goes long. So I think we can agree it's probably toil. <sighs> toil. Is, is, it, is it pulling towards if I say the word toil? Yep. How to please your sword, am I right, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> okay, so we won't touch them yet, but we can at least agree that two is orange. Hmm. So, <sighs> so does that, do, I, do any of the other artifacts we have, like, 
do anything next to uh, the uh, any of the others? Um, you can try them all. None of them seem to have a connection to this temple. It is specifically Grifter's sword. Mm. So maybe it's just made with the major artifacts that would do it. It's the hairpin itself. I mean, how do we use it to douse the others then? Well, maybe I could try asking it. So what do you say, hairpin, prince? Can you give us a hint for anyone else? If I point you towards that first statue over there, the stomach. What if I were to point you towards that and say the word land? Um, Grifter? Make mm -hmm. me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Someone didn't like their brothers. Ah! Uh, 17! So, you sense that every time you try to point this thing to one of the others, the sword gets really angry, but you mm -hmm. specifically are washed over with an aura of familiar sadness. Some some pain you have felt very recently. Oh no! Don't you do this to me! No! 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 Is this why you chose me? Oh, he's he's off again. Don't start, Dustin. No, oh, I mean the sword. That's off again. Okay, fine. Just a second one. <sighs> so we at least have confirmation on the one. Should we put the toiled um, jewel there? I don't think we. I still don't think we should touch them just yet. I mean, who knows? It could give us a hint on the next one after, but uh, what if there's a timer sort of deal? As soon as one goes in, we have to put the others in almost a couple minutes to seconds after that. Gerter's really not paying attention at this moment. He is staring at that damn sword. Come on. Brought you all the way here. We finally made it. Couldn't you give one damn hint? Uh, it's not uh, obvious. Roll me a history check. 17. Something happened earlier today. Specifically. That makes the one with the X over its stomach familiar to you. Mm. Oh. No, no, no. Was that dream a warning about this temple? Could have chosen a better way about it. You get no res other response from the sword. It seems to be enthralled in rage right now. <sighs> Suffering? Or pedigree? No good at giving a guess at the moment. <sighs> well, I only have one and only clue, so... We only have the one clue so far, the second one. We had nothing to point us in the direction of the others, and... I'm still hesitant about doing putting that gem in it already. 
So does this mean we're gonna have to find seven other Actopaths that have uh, personalities in them or something? Uh, I don't get it. If not that, some sort of hint to the so, others. I mean, how we can't that maybe there's more like that, and that because there were all princesses. I don't know. If there are eight treasures in total that we need to find for this. Yeah, how many gonna do point, we have? I'm gonna point the hairpin towards the fourth amber stone, the toil one. Is that what you want? It is pulling you towards it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. Careful, careful! Okay, fine. Would you all like to give this one a shot? It seems to work. <sighs> Don't want to be in the room when this happens, just in Get case. Get ready for anything. I think it's worth this trying. Could go south quickly if we're not careful. <sighs> Gotta help us all if I'm wrong. I think in the event that this bracelet does boost AC, I'm actively making a note. It is in Dustin's hand. It is on his wrist. It is protecting yes, him. Do. I'm going to use the normal ring back then. Uh, so, so you pick up the toil stone. I pick up the toil stone. Okay. It is currently with you. Where are you bringing it? I am bringing it towards the familiar prince. The one so that this is how a master emerald becomes a chaos emerald. Okay. You... Notice that, uh, uh, like, on its feet, there is a place to put the stone. An offering. Seriously, fuck you, Jack Master. I'm <laughs> I you, play, the you, you place... Okay, how confident do you feel right now? Considering the sword is pulling it, uh, is pulling me towards it, I'm pretty damn confident this goes in. Okay. You do so. You see this statue start to glow a yellow color. And the door closes. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I told you. What did I fucking tell every one of you? I am so happy right now. Does we die. Have I'm pulling that sword. Weird, does anyone have the weird feeling that God is laughing at us? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Batty. Just draw my ear drum some more, why don't you? <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why it's so loud on your end. Noodle, do you, yeah, he's not up on, you might have to turn him down in Discord, Noodle. That might be you. Yeah. Okay, anything else 200? happening? Um, let's see what music plays it. Oh, uh, Coco, uh, do you mind breaking the door? I don't break the door. Do that, thank you. Okay, uh... We don't know what other kind of traps that could set off. Just saying. That'll be plan Z. I you know, asked her because she's... Like a, a, a thumbs up. <laughs> I ask her because she's the one that would know if we should break it or not. <laughs> I'm not listen. Even if we should, I refuse. Well, she's not that's yelling why I ask you because I don't yeah. want you to be mad at me afterwards. Crypto's yelling at his sword. Look, you're the one who told me to, told me to put this thing there. Why is this all going wrong now? I'm just. Tonbo's contemplating. He's thinking right now. Crypto, you're talking to a sword. A sword with. It's possessed, Dustin! Um, Grifter. How can we say this is right not now. what's intended to happen? So, Grifter. Mm -hmm. A sentence enters you, your mind. What went wrong? Oh. Nothing. Or, no, no, no. I, I, no, that will fuck you up, actually. You are sure that this is the correct answer in your head. 
You weren't before, but now you are. Huh. But... Before you have that thought, I want... You know what? You don't have to do it. I'm going to bring a little black box on screen right now. Do you know what this black box is? Oh, no. What? Oh, no. The whole Tonbo. Hmm? The tiles right next to fun. you, you see part of the ceiling uh, in a perfectly square shape fall from itself and you see a giant stone pillar right where you saw the first crack mark. Oh, fuck. As the breeze flying your face. Huh. Okay, that so happened. So four of those could start falling if we put the correct ones in. I have, I have an idea. Yes? So, my guess is that it's falling in non-lethal ways to try to scare us. But if we get it wrong, it will kill us. Okay, I have a very weird idea. No, we don't have to announce we have ideas. We should just start saying what our ideas are. I think time okay. is the essence. Kondo, you were a part of this. All right, well then, go on there. The bracelet. The bracelet! Dustin has that. I know! You both were the key to this! How do you feel? I'm fine. I feel... No. How do I feel? I'm wearing it again. Uh, you feel safe. I don't really feel too scared here. I feel fine. Um, question. Mm -hmm. How does everyone feel about this puzzle so far? In, uh, order of, uh, bottom of Discord order to end of Discord order. Jacko, how does Dustin feel right now about this puzzle? Uh, seeing as this is stuff he deals with anyway, he's pretty confident that he could do it if he had all the information. Like, he's not scared about any of this because, I mean, we have ways we could probably destroy walls and get out, so he's okay with it. He's okay with it, but yeah. he's not 100% sure. I mean, no, he probably would be, because, like you said, he has an exit plan if something goes wrong. So, yeah, he's 100% on this. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to go, um, how does Tonbo feel about this? Based on the actual trial and seeing how things have gone, and kind of knowing that things were going to fall anyway, he's not scared of anything that's happening, and... Because this is trial of confidence, or whatever it was that it said at the top of the door. Uh, yep. In character, Tondo has an idea for how this might work, and he's like, he's he's pretty dead set that this is pro. Like he, I have I have something in mind for Tondo. He's 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 fine. All right. Um. Well, more than fine. He's pretty sure he can do. Seox. Seox is just being south almost in the corner and he's just like ah they'll figure it out <laughs> how, how much do you trust in your friends 100 percent, just confident that they will like solve it somehow okay he's just waiting to, for the first thing he can like help with but he's like it, it, it's either him or, or they're just they're, they'll do it they're, they're, everything's fine grifter now that i have now that grifter has this new new idea about the bracelet feeling pretty interested in this pretty interested interested thinks he figured it out okay and coco and Coco is just confused, but optimistic. Confused, but optimistic. Okay. Um, in that case... Boop. Three more panels fall. It is now a perfect square. 
Wait, did we do something? Hmm. It's not that bad right now. Let's just focus on the task at hand. Okay. This is the trial of confidence. That bracelet. You mm -hmm. both said you both said something key about that. Maybe but the actual calm. Yes, but maybe calm meaning you're not feeling fear or anxiety, meaning you could feel pretty confident about your answer when you put the stone offering up to the statue. Oh, it's not gonna be that dumb, is it? Well Who that's knows? the case. Maybe the bracelet was key. Well, Lynn, if that's the case, I'm gonna go um, over to the. I'm gonna go down to this one. Intellect. Intellect. Hmm. Oh. Hold on, really quick, Dustin. Hmm. Grifter. Yes. You're not gonna like me asking you this question, but you trust me, right? Unfortunately, yes. Then answer honestly. Toils off the table. Out of those seven words left, which one best represents Mintaka? Mintaka? Would, would actually. I mean, he was posh, so I mean, sure, he was full of himself. Uh, definitely not intellect. Definitely not poverty. He's the one who would usually hand me money when father cut me off. Uh, pedigree. At the same time, I always think about that for Neelam. Mm -hmm. Neelam. Neelam would probably be he more. Is. Oh, damn it. He'd be intellect, wouldn't he? He's dangerously smart, unfortunately. I'm gonna. I'm going to gesture over towards the pedigree stone. I think that one's number oh, one. Man. It's got a mark on its stomach where you said Mintaka was... You know, I don't want to go into detail to it because it's like Spare Grifter, but... If Mintaka's supposed to represent something, maybe that stone. Maybe that stone's supposed to fit there. I'm pretty sure that's where it goes. Also, I want to test something out. Without okay. pointing the sword at the statue, like, please be help. Please work with us, whatever you are, Prince. I don't know if you are, if you are one or not. Um, Just statue pedigree. You're you're talking to um the sword right now. Yes. It is swinging wildly, or it's trying to swing wildly. Actually, uh. Strength save to oh see how God. well you can control it. God, this is a first. Control your sword, man. Um, what's what's <laughs> what's your oh, strength no. saving throw? It's a three. It's a three. It it, it swings so hard it, it falls out of your hand and clinks to the ground. Hey, sword, stop being a piss baby and help us, or else you're gonna get destroyed in here too. Full it's bust. vibrating. Full Bostonian Tom, but you're forty. Don't vibrate at me. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, where did it land? Uh, it just fell off your hand, in front oh. of this other statues. Just in front of the toil one, or one of the other ones? Not the toil one specifically. That's the only one it, it, like. As far as, like, all the ones it's noticed, the toil one is the one that doesn't make it angry. The rest do. Yeah. Um, so all of you can control the uh, tokens now um, and place them wherever you see fit. Well, do we feel good about this first, this, the blue one being the first statue? Going once. It's going my, twice. That's my guess on it. Up, 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 up. Up, up. 
up, up. <laughs> it's so big. Okay. So, it's small now. You're putting it in, in the thing? Yep. How sure are you of this answer are you? Well, I'm trusting everyone else, so... Okay. I'm you trusting... Just, you place it if in? I think we had to learn to trust this sword, and it gave Grifter a vision, so pretty confident on this one. It doesn't glow, but nothing happens. Okay. Huh. Yeah. So this oh, isn't this the right one for this one. I'll grab it. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for being accommodating, statue. You're <laughs> welcome. So, so this one uh, isn't for this one, so we can mark blue off for another little one. I was thinking contentment. He was pretty damn... I Mintaka mean, didn't really need much. So, okay. Quick question. So what I'm burning uh, is... Wait, all of these can be for him. Louis? Uh, quick rundown, Mentaka. Well, um, like I said, um... Posh, um, not really arrogant about it because, you know, in actuality, he was... He wasn't a bad person. Um, but he was very, very into himself. I would never call him an intellect. Even though pink would be his color. Wait. If he wasn't smart like the rest of you, what the fuck did he do? He was pretty and he was getting into politics. Wait, did he work hard at something? Him work hard? <laughs> Maybe he is just content. He worked hard at grooming. I threw that or nothing. Because everything you're saying about him is just... There's nothing to him. And that's the sad thing. Exactly. Nothing. No. No. Do we want to try nothing? Sure. Let's give it a shot. So, okay. uh, Grifter, any of your... Any of the others, can you say... You can say they... Uh line with working hard at something I mean yeah um see we all know how we all know how Neelam ended up and like <sighs> yes but unfortunately Neelam is quite intelligent I'm trying to just align who the toil one is Oh, Toil uh, was the second one. You guys already got Toil. Yeah, that one's solved. Yeah. Wait, what? Yep. Yeah, we solved yeah, this one. Oh. That yeah, was okay. the one representing the one the hairpin was, uh, apparently. <laughs> Wait, how many? Oh, uh, Dan, how many, or how many siblings did you have? Six. Five. Five, including Six, so. including me. I wonder who if all these are supposed to be a successor in some way to whoever would be the king who in your in your case would be your dad what what if the last one's your mom didn't know much about her she died when I was young you knew nothing about her really no I don't oh Oh, no. What if this isn't the stomach? What if it's the womb? What? That... Because the first one's supposed to be around where the stomach is. At the same time, I had a vision when I looked at it. What, you, what was your vision? Mintaka. Uh, I'm just trying to spitball ideas. Anything's I mean, helpful in this situation. I guess we can just end up with the Mantaka one. Yeah, I'm, <sighs> I'm, I'm I'm leaning towards nothing, but I can be wrong. I think. Well, it seems that if as long as we are confident in our decision, oh, nothing happens. Yeah. Well, I'm confident he was quite content in himself. 
Well, I mean, what if I just grab them all and shove them in one at a time at this point? Because you have to be sure about it. Oh, you're, you're sure he if... was either content or you're sure it was nothing. I'm sure he was content. If he's sure, we're grab sure. Both. Just grab both of them. No, just grab and content. Sure you put it in. Listen, if I grab both, then I'm uncertain, aren't I? No, I mean, just grab content and put that one in. Oh, well, I'm only doing that. Chink. Are you content enough to use content? Okay, you put it in there. Trust me. Nothing happens. So it's not content. <laughs> Less things to worry about. Thought I had that one. Hold on, I've got to write in the notes. Content was mm. not. So. Say, because you think it's nothing? Yeah. I believe so. Yeah. You put it in, Say, Alright. Alright. Like, Selks casually takes the thing, brings it up, and just puts it in. Nothing happens. I was Black actually pretty one. sure about that one. Oh boy. Oh, whatever. That just, if it's not that, then that just leaves land, suffering, toil, poverty, and intellect. Oh no, if it was the vision he did. <clears throat> Boy. What was he acting like in it? It was what happened at the end. Uh-huh. Which was... Suffering from a wound. Well, what? green. Wait, can you explain that one? Because that, that sounds promising. <sighs> Damn it. Suffering from a stomach wound? Love Very... Put green in. Tombo, oh, roll me a dex 30 saving throw. Oh, shit. Ah. One second. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, you take no damage, but um, you're able to barely step out of the way as uh, some more of the ceiling falls uh, and pillars of debris fly into your face. Alright, everyone stay around the edges to the room for now. Go through the center is dangerous. Grumbling, I'm putting in suffering. Suffering? Nothing happens. <laughs> oh my god, if someone just grab them all and shove them in. I'm just getting bored of this. More pillars fall. Uh, that's oh exciting. my god. Uh, Fine. Hmm. Running, running around Tom the booth. edges. Tompa's thinking for a second before we start grabbing them all. Um, Dusting. It's Big Taka. If this somehow represents him in a weird way, that it's... I don't know what the hell anything is anymore. That pink-headed bastard! <laughs> I'm throwing you, the pink... You know, guys, you're in a very little way running the mood of the room. <laughs> of course not. All right, everyone, calm down. Pink, Gosh, just put pink in. Okay, uh, that nothing happens. You hmm. got three left. Two left. Poverty and land. That's right. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. Did did he either want any type of land or feared being poor? I, I'm pretty sure. Now I'm thinking about it. Since he since he was posh and stuff, wouldn't he fear being po uh, poor? Or in the I mean, end, I, I'm huh? sure any of us did. Like, but specifically, and then at the end, I did. I don't mean who of of out of all of all of you would just suffer the most of not having money. Yeah. Really? Of course. Look at him. Did, did Mentaka then? Did Mentaka then 
covet some land or something? Not really. Or he maybe land in on, not in a little way, but successing in any way. Well, you want to try the red? <laughs> Gonna try the red. I don't know. Okay. Um, don't let me stop you. So, it seems as though another pillar is about to fall, but it, it kind of like creeps back into the ceiling, and this one also glows yellow. Okay, okay so I actually got... wanted to succeed or something. Um, oh, you want right. to... I'm picking so, the right. airplane back up. Yeah. You don't, you don't think it was literal that he might have been lying on the land, do you? Something stupid like that. Oh my god. What even is this? I really am dumb if that's the case. <laughs> Prefer your sword's dumb. Don't tell me about Wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't like the third one. Batty, I don't like the third one. The, the, the third one? You don't like it? Why? I don't like the third one, Batty! You don't like over the third the neck, one? It's over the throat. Okay, whose neck got fucking slit? Don't say that. So, before... I didn't say that, I said that out of the game. Before that, um, looking at Grifter, Grifter's told Tonbo this story. You've told, you've specifically told me this. Without saying a word, can I just grab intellect and see if it goes there? Um, how sure are you of you? By the look on Grifter's face, Tonbo's pretty damn sure. Okay. Uh, nothing happens. Oh, 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 no? Hmm? No. Hold on. Uh, I had an idea. Yellow. Yellow? Which one? <sighs> Wait, is, the, is this one supposed to be Neelum? No. Who's this then? Yellow. Works. Uh, it glows yellow. God damn it! What that? What, care to explain? Uh, Seahawks. 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 No. Something tells me that's not a question for now. That's when we finished all this. We're at home and we're drinking as much alcohol as we can get our hands on. Huh? Left eye. I think Left we know what who that one is. Left eye. Is he getting it angry by the second? To you. I'm starting to think Grister is getting angrier the more he goes to the right. So can we send him to the far right and then so he chills down the more he goes to the left? Grifter, you're uh, the only one who can answer this. So, um, you are at risk of aligning yourself with a specific entity that you were, uh, you picked up the sword, right? Mm, I, yeah. Oh, uh, another wisdom saving throw. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> this is a very fun room for the both of you. Don't you dare go down. We need you. Fifteen! Fifteen. Okay, I'm gonna actually have to roll for it this time. Sixteen. Great. Uh, you slash at this, uh, the statue. What? Okay, okay. Okay, okay, oh, okay, yeah. okay. I think it's time to... You just tell us which ones it's which and which go where. You, you don't have to tell us anything else. Just tell us what you think is right. I'll Eight. bring them all over. Okay, okay. Bing. I shove I'll, pink I'll... in. I walk over with the top with it and okay, go in. Pink, uh, nothing happens. Really? Not pink. Yeah, nothing happens. Pink. You son of a bitch! Uh, okay, that's happening. Uh, uh, Blue! Uh, okay. Blue. Oh, on. Oh, okay. okay uh, you wait a moment after putting in blue under Grifter's orders. And... Of course it worked. If it wasn't one, it was the other. Okay, okay, okay. Move along, move along. Uh, yeah, yeah, push him to the next there. one. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't move him. Crumble, crumble. <laughs> crumble, crumble. Bring him okay. over. Okay, the the heart. No, 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 no. Oh. Green. Ah, oh, goddamn it! Just... Nope. Green. Uh, nothing happens. <sighs> Thank. God. Okay, this is good. This well, is at least three. <sighs> like we can help Grifter. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I'm associating. 
I, I know. I think that's what this whole thing's about. You have okay. to associate harder, and that's why we're trusting you on this. I'm just glad I was confident about that one, but I'm glad to be wrong. No, okay. Almost green again. Oh, suffering. Uh, oh, I'm glad to be wrong. So, uh... Uh-huh. Let's see. That's a weird association. So, we have intellect, poverty, heart. or nothing. Poverty? What if one was poor at heart? Putting put in purple. How sure are you of uh, this so, answer, Dustin? So, Dustin has that bracelet on. Yeah, I feel fine as fuck, man. Okay, good. Uh, you put it in, nothing happens. <laughs> yeah, it's not purple. What if you're empty huh. inside? What if you have nothing? At the same time, an eight seemed interesting than that, but got at the same time, a black heart. That one will make sense. Black. Okay, that one was too literal. I hated that one. Well, fuck you too, father. Okay. <laughs> the next uh... one, I push him to the next one. <laughs> Grumble. I wish I could understand <laughs> a bit more to help, but if you're gonna grumble, okay, I just push. Justin, I think you already figured this one. Uh, hold on. Yeah. I'm putting in pink, then. Pink? You wait for a moment, and... Done momentarily. I swear to God. Okay. I was gonna say, I swear to God. I didn't realize what this was. If I was gonna be hit with some sort of door... Head and intelligence kinda worked, push him more. No, I'm pretty sure. Just mouth. move, move. So, the mouth. Uh, we have green and purple left, so suffering and poverty. Oh, poverty. I'm putting in purple. Go, um, hey. Nothing happens. Okay. I'm going to shove green in. I would have thought poverty meant no, not, no money for food. That's what I thought, too. Honestly, I thought the same thing. I I have so much fucking lore and notes going off right now. It is fucking crazy. <laughs> okay. I mean, we only uh, have two left, so it was like one or the other. And the core of oneself, very poor. Finally, all <laughs> eight of them light up. Hey, this worked. And behind you, the pillars that have fallen down almost levitate back up into the wall, and you see the bricks start to repair themselves. All except the center brick, which was cracked from before. And with that, you see a doorway enter up to a round room. Okay, I'm call calling that then. Any objections? I don't care anymore. Let's just fucking go. Just and... keep me away from those statues. Okay, so someday please explain because I have got nothing. Do you know what that puzzle was? Like, really, in the end? Make, Annoying. Make... It was death. Work. That's what that was. That was fucking guesswork. I would say that's Grifter suffering, but okay, that's another way to say it. This, this was not a puzzle. No, so not if the only clue was one person that nah. may or may not have even showed up. No, nah, that's that not was... a puzzle. That is a death trap. Um, that, that was God just fucking with Grifter. Dustin. <laughs> Dustin, and... roll a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Oh, I have a minus one in that. <gasps> Don't that oh, my God. God. Dustin, save. Oh, fuck you, Temple! Jack! Jack, I want to say, 
all okay. the nat ones <laughs> that you've ever had. This is like both Justin and real me. This was not a puzzle. <laughs> um, you feel yourself encompassed with the rage. Um, you feel very drawn to an object that is currently uh, in front of you that Grifter is in the process of holding and you very adamantly for a split second are wanting to grab at that thing as quick as possible but something for, uh, a conversation you had with Grifter earlier uh, pops back in your head and you resist it. Grifter, I think we need to have a conversation. What now? I felt like grabbing that sword and stabbing someone. It was almost supernatural. Yeah, this was... is close. Move, 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 move. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That was going to be my next question. Was it you or that? I don't know. I just felt like I needed to grab that sword right now. And I know when I held that, I felt intense pain. And weird. You were wearing that bangle when we fought outside. I think that one was just on you. No, that was on... Yes, and let's go on in. Okay, so you enter the round chamber. Um, in it, you see a pedestal uh, marked by a very uh, statue of a very weird looking figure. Um, they appear to be human in nature, although their head is looks like it's either being consumed by a worm or they're wearing the worm at on their head you can't tell which exactly um the mouth of the worm is around their neck and the body kind of extends around their own body um and they are covered by uh several like uh indentions of swirl like patterns um on top of that, uh, you see a smaller statue of wood carving uh, that uh, it has something in the center of it. Um, some sort of let me let me check real quick. I need to verify with my notes because this is very specific. Um, <laughs> Essentially, you you find a small uh, wooden uh, idol of the same, what you can presume to be same worm deity. Um, and it looks like there is an aura radiating, radiating off of it. Um, other things you see in this temple are um, further depictions of the ones that you saw in the wood room before. And... On the roof, you see more text in Bulu script. Well, let's give that a read. What the native speakers like to read? I don't know. Maybe if you stop giving me sass, I'll consider it. <laughs> I'll give you sass. Coco, you being one of the one of the most intelligent people I have ever met in my life. Would you please read this for us? Thank you, God. Uh, okay. <laughs> Roll that <of> history. <laughs> well, I can't catch for shit today. <laughs> Coco. I'm just, I'm just gonna fuck off. Why not? Well, I. So I. Leah was actually gonna help you, but I, I didn't get that. <laughs> Okay, but you said roll history, so I was like, Let's Yeah, go. I was like, wait, Leanne would be helping you with this. 
Um, 25. <laughs> 25. I'm sorry. I didn't say it sooner. Or I didn't think of it sooner. I forgot Leanne was with you guys, to be honest. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, it, again, it was me me being uh, intertwined with this very vague fucking puzzle. <laughs> This puzzle has a purpose, though. Coco, as you start to read aloud the this sentence, um, I am going to send Noodle this. And if she ch so chooses to read it to everyone else, she can. Catch our hottest deal, $5.99 at Lowe's. <laughs> Fuck off, Chibi. You're not in this episode. That's Wait. it? We travel all this way? A crummy commercial? <laughs> and six princes and two princesses like the way their wounds mark the start of their decay. Labeled by their mothers, their identities are cast into the fray. Well, that's just silly. I swear to God, that was supposed to be the fucking clue to this. Yeah, but can you read that like one more time, not in Coco's voice? Okay, so it says, God damn it, uh, when six princes and two princes, uh, princesses light the way, their wounds mark the start of their decay. Labeled by their mothers, their identities are cast into the fray. What? I'll go ahead and pa post it. Just Thank so you. you can see it. Uh... Grumble. I don't get it. Um, but yeah, with that, um, you guys found the main room. If anybody wants to roll perception checks or actually any checks, fuck it. You're in a, a room. Nothing looks normal. You see a weird worm dude. Roll any fucking checks you want to try to discover shit. I'm gonna just do investigations, but I am not touching a damn thing. Finally, I got something good today. Jesus. Uh, uh, I didn't, don't even know what to roll. <laughs> um, you can roll investigation. You can roll history. You can roll survival. You can oh, roll shit, perception. I have, I have a plus nine. Really? I'm gonna percept then, I guess. I'm chalking this up too. Grifter doesn't want to touch anything what in the, the room. What the hell with those Nat 20 on the other side? What the I'll, hell? I'll take some right? to see if I find anything. I'll deceive the room because I have a plus seven in <laughs> <laughs> I, I was gonna inside the room because I'm good at insight. Ooh. Hey. Yeah. That's a good roll. So, um, you're all gonna find different things except Grifter. He's a little angry right now. Angie and I don't want to touch a damn thing! And don't uh, talk to me, I'm angry and scared. Seox, um... You would find... Hold on, let me check something real quick. Okay. So. Seox, you find... One ring... You find a solid gold piece of some sort. Uh, a solid? Like a solid gold coin. It doesn't have any markings or indentions on it. It is just a solid plate of gold. Mm. Hmm. Um, but yeah, you find another Nin ring. No, um, no Cool, got two. What color? The Nin Ring. I'm going to roll for that right now. So, um, it is. Hold on. Let me try to look it up real quick at my little chart. Sorry that if this is taking long, I'm just trying to get all my shit in order. Oh, there's there's a is, lot to go over. There is a lot to this fucking temple. Um, oh shit, you find a red ring. Ooh. Oh great, we got an Xbox. <laughs> it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> okay, um, 
I guess, uh... Ah, what the hell? I'm putting Nen into it. Ah, uh, you're uh. putting Nen into it? Mm -hmm. Right in here? Oh, Jesus. Um... Roll me a perception check. Oh, for fuck's sake. So... How familiar are you with flatworms? Uh, uh, me as a person, I don't even know what those are. So, a, a very... Uh, you feel something pulsating on your shoulder, and then it plops to the ground. Um, it's about the size of a dog, but it's a, a uh. for lack of a better term, a very flat worm. It has several, like, fanged bits to it, and it has human eyes surrounding the entire thing. Ew! What the f- Oh, oh no. Okay, mark down Ring of Conjure Giant Flatworm. You got Ringworm! Disgusting <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh bad you. We'll call it Timothy. Okay. Ring. No, we're not keeping it. You keep your keep ring. Wood. You keep giant. Yeah, I keep my thing. Flatworm. Squirt is gonna walk up next to Seahox. Mazel tov. Fucking hype. Hype, I see you there. That's not cool. That's disgusting. Alright. <laughs> so, who's next? Uh, oh, you're the DM. We all rolled. Alright. So, um. Fucking. Uh, Tonbo. Mm -hmm. You find a granddaddy long leg spider, but like it, it like has probably seven extra legs between seven or eight extra legs. So I found a 16 legged spider. Yes. You know, I'm keeping that. I know you are. Um, and wow. I'm just gonna leave that at that. That's what you get with the 15. In game, Ew, outside that fucking. So I didn't cool. find any like there. There's nothing like no artifacts or anything in here. Um, with that survival check, um, I'm gonna say that specific entity is going to justify the 15. Okay. Let me write down Dustin like it's spider. What an um, ass, man. You are looking around for artifacts. Um, you find buried under a bunch of dust. Um, two. Uh, I, I'm gonna say with that twenty-one history, you're gonna be able to tell what they are. They look like they're um part of segmented armor, that like would belong to a chess piece of some sort. Um. And you, you basically find two of them. Um, I'm going to tell you what colors um, are embroidered on them um, after I roll for it. So, oh. first one is green. Second one is gray. How funny. Green and gray. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Very fitting for me to find as a person. We're gonna circle back to Coco because Coco's gonna get some sh mad shit. Um. Fuck. I think that is everybody but Coco. That is everyone, so it is Coco's turn. Yeah, yeah. Here you go for getting me again. Goddamn. I did not forget you. I forgot everyone else, technically. Did Leanne or Victoria or Kanzai find anything? Oh, they found shit. I'm marking that down. Don't worry. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, no. Um. Okay, Coco? Yes. So, first of all, um, you know that and Leanne is going to give you express permission to do this 
so you don't have to feel bad about it. That uh, worm god on the pedestal, um, you can add that uh, to your list of deities. <laughs> um, put in. Uh, I'm going. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not going to be able to use it right away. My whole spiel is I have to study it to death before I can use it. Yeah, no, that that's true. Um, that's not the only thing you find, though. Um, and I'm just saying you, you have, like, another god to add to your inventory in the future. I'll give you its name once you're attuned to it. One um, thing is we're learning about it as we're doing this. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, I need to roll to see what you get. Because you're going to actually find the most important thing in this temple. Um, okay, let's roll for it. Uh, what am I rolling? Uh, I'm rolling something. Okay. So. You find a weird type of bracer. Um, it looks like something that would go on an upper arm. Um, it is purple. Um, and it is, unlike all the other artifacts you've seen, this is very intricate. There are several different jewels encrusted into it um and it has a very uh what's the word staggering presence to it oh boy in addition to that because of that 24 you do find um what looks to be like ancient footwear of some sort it's not a shoe necessarily but it's more like an armored sandal and it is going to be green, also. A shoe? Okay. Um, yep. Th does it appear to be Nen-based, this arm brace thing, first? The arm brace and the, the uh, armored shoe are both Nen-based. Alright, I will test them individually. Pour some Nen into it. Okay. Uh, which one first? The brace. Brace, okay. Um, hold on momentarily as I look for something. Um, so, Coco? Yes? As you put on this brace, it's a little big at first, but then it conforms to your body. Um, which is weird because it's, like, made out of metal and shit. Um, you feel... You can't see any change specifically at the moment. Uh, but you feel very, uh, what's the word? Powerful right now. Of <laughs> all the things for Coco to get. Oh my god. There oh my is god. something around you that feels like it can make you. I don't know how to how to explain this. Um, who's closest to Coco right now? Probably Leanne. Leanne. Um, Leanne's going to be like looking at some runes, and she's going to be right next to you, Coco. Okay. And anybody, roll me a min check. Oh, Who boy. so chooses? Thirteen. Uh... Seven. I am rolling like shit today. Where's my? Oh. <laughs> okay. You see, uh, Coco's Nen start to spark up in a weird way, um, and you see some of the sparks. Uh, one of the sparks land on Leanne. You're gonna hear, "Ow! Wait, what?" Uh, she's gonna turn to look. This Nin Aura might hurt people who make contact with it that aren't Coco. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh, wait. Does she get the melee thing? So, out of character, anybody who wears this arm brace, uh, if anybody makes contact with your flesh, um, or your Nin Aura, rather, 
um, they take a set amount of damage regardless. All right, I'm keeping that. I'm fucking yeah. dead. <laughs> okay. So the physical attack is that great? Yeah, that's why I'm like. Mm. Hold on, I've got I two pieces of armor. Nice. I don't know what these do yet. Okay. Um, the the shoe you feel a little bit faster, Coco. Cool. Okay. Oh my god, she's a strong one. I'm keeping that one too. I'm slow as shit. <sighs> You're okay. 30 feet to everyone else. No, Tombo and I are uh, 40 feet. I'm freaking 30. I'm like, okay, just getting the cool stuff. Good. Would you like okay. to try these armor pieces? Boy. I have two breastplates. I don't use armor. Well, I say breastplates, they're fragments of like armor basically, they're not the full pieces. I can't use armor. Uh, it's I'll not say they armor. don't actually count as armor, because they're not like fully covering your body, they're just fragments of what was formerly right. armor. Technically a normal defense needs you to not wear anything. It's not technically armor though, so it won't count towards that. Yeah, this what? this isn't specifically towards that. What does that do? It's I don't know. Like I guess Wait. you could sort of count it as like jewelry. Yeah. It, 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 depending on what this is, it's probably classified more towards magic item than armor. Did you try it? I, I don't remember that. <laughs> nope, I haven't tried them yet. Okay, give it here. Which I'll one? The green one or the gray one? I'll keep the green one. Of course I'm keeping the green one. Okay, you're keeping the green one. You're going for the gray one, Seox. Mm. Um, like how, how does it look? Because I don't know. It, it, it's like, again, it's was once part of probably a segmented piece of armor, but it's been ripped off. Um, it has a uh, gray sort of like different inlays and uh, like intricate like patterns across it. Mm. Um, you pour Nin into it. Um, Dustin, you feel the need to step away from Seox. It takes a couple steps to the left. Mm -hmm. What? Make I don't want to be around. Make a wisdom saving throw. God damn it, why is it always fucking wisdom with me? <laughs> okay, that makes up for the double that 20 earlier. Double three. You're wanting to go away f further. Uh... You something about that makes you feel uneasy, but uh, Sax, you feel perfectly fine. What happened? I don't like standing next to you anymore. Wait. I think it's Wait. the armor. Can okay, I? See, uh... Am I seeing this happen? Yep. Oh dear lord, not more. Wait, why? Why? They probably belong to some of the other, like the the successors. They don't like each other. I didn't activate this armor yet. Uh, that or the item just causes a fear effect. Yeah, so it, they were supposed to be used in battle, I guess. So if an enemy didn't want to be near you. No, I guess I'm keeping this. So I, I usually I like to be a friend in person, but okay. I'm going to try the green one, but I'm going to like step away from you. I stopped pouring them into this. Okay, so, last but not least, Dustin. I swear to god, if I'm the one that fucking explodes. You feel very slightly stronger. Oh! <gasps> Strength! I've never had that before! You have... I have an ungrossed bro. <laughs> you now have a, a temporary 11 in strength. <laughs> I already had an 11 in strength. So now you- oh! So now you have a plus one to your strength modifier when you're wearing this. Modifier. So I'm at 12. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Like a little, um, a little, like, golf ball sized lump appears on Dustin's arms. No! Got don't now. say that, please. Hey Jack! Congrats, we're equal in strength. <laughs> so, in total, I think from the temple you guys received one, two, three, or new artifacts, if I'm uh, certain. Two armor, the sandal, the bracelet, and the ring. 
another ring. So we forgot about the five. sandal. And technically also the idol. Yep, you have the idol. The idol doesn't the count idol. towards what we're trying to do, though. That's just so... It's the, the two but armor... Like... Hold on, Noodle, sorry. I'm trying, I have to keep track of all this. So the two brace... The two breastplates, the sandal, the gauntlet, and the ring. Or the bracer yep. and the ring. Okay, so it's five. Yeah, for the stuff of the giant. But So out, out of this room, we did get six things. Well, seven if you include the fucking clue on the roof. Um, also, I need to say this now that you're done with the temple. I'm very sorry I intended for that puzzle to be frustrating. That wasn't a puzzle. It technically was. It wasn't. You just had to go to other places first. I figured. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's not that great of a puzzle. It's super annoying. You know what? Uh, did he, it did help that we had someone who was key to helping solve it. Let, let, let's just say if, like, there is no specific order that you have to do these in, um, you just saved yourself the trouble of coming back here. Thank God. But yeah, um, and now you have a little bit more vague insight into what's going on, kind of. Yeah, and I'm not happy about it. Yeah, I know. I know you wouldn't be. Oh, history is repeating itself. It sure is. It just looks to be you. Um, yeah. Like, I want to leave. So, before we return to Chibi and wrap up, what are you guys doing? Uh, Tombo. Sticking the breastplate on the breasticle, and then leave going outside. Yeah. Uh, what the hell is this? And I point to the where my summon. Aww. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Never seen anything like that before. I, I, just, I just put Nen into the this red ring and just the, the, that came out. Do you not want well, it? Well, it plopped. It plopped? I, I don't even know. It just I felt something in my shoulder and that it, it was there in the ground. Well, it's... I would assume it's probably conjuration, and then. It'll I probably... guess, but do, do, do I just what do I do with this? I would talk to Coco. She's she's a conjurer. She'd probably know better what to do with it. In terms of what it is, you know, best thing to do with that is experiment and find out. Uh, I, I, I I'm I'm gonna, Barry. I'm gonna like tell the worm like, can you move here? Like a couple, like like five feet forward um okay uh roll what's your name step wisdom roll wisdom Ten. um it flops that direction okay <laughs> what the hell do i do with it then I, I has a bunch of eyes, but it, it's breathing heavily and kind. There's like slime dripping from its mouth. Agreed. I don't like the thing. Someone put it out of its misery. Great, you have a pug. Can oh I... God, I need a pug. Pug. Coco, can you? Coco, Leanne, anyone? <laughs> anyone? What the hell is this? It's a good name for it, Slug Pug. I just need to know what the hell is this. Um, it's slug Pug. I think it's your new friend. It's with... No, <laughs> fuck you, God. That was a God that was Leanne. Yeah, it's, it's a creature. It's something. It's probably whoever had the ring probably wanted to create things like this. They probably serve some purpose. Try giving it a more complex command. See if it can follow it. Roll over. Do your special thing. That's. Hmm. Um. Who's closest to the worm? And uh, roll me another wisdom check. Oh no, it'd be me, because I was technically the closest to him at that point. <laughs> oh, thank god. Does 11 hit you? No. It slowly oh, tries to... It, it, it slowly tries to bite at you. Oh, stop it. Oh. Okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. How slowly? Like... It's flopping about. Oh, that's slug bug. I'm starting to think this thing is not made to move fast and land. It's a worm. I think it's. I, mean, I don't know. Itself. I mean, it it does make no noise technically when it 
What if you Luros? Can I unsummon this? Try taking the ring. Do you try to unsummon it? Yeah. Um, okay, roll another wisdom check. Five. Uh, it... It, it kind of, like, starts to vibrate back into the ring, but then it's... It, it like, it, like, refuses. I, I lack of a better term. Oh, say Congratulations. Off. You have a Pikachu. Uh, oh, oh, come on. I, I, I can... No. I, you say off. back to the ring. Why? I have a suggestion, actually. Why? If we don't want it around, we can always feed it to Mulberry. I mean, no, what the, what? Mm. Oh, it's bigger than the frog. Don't count Mulberry out. It's made out of Nen, so I wouldn't say it's... It might just appear when it's in its stomach. You can feed the grass. Or it could kill Mulberry. I mean, I'm really bad. Just go back to the ring, come on! <laughs> it, it, it just flops the other way. So, Dustin, obviously you haven't learned about what's this nutty thing about Bulu Empire frogs. Nope. How big it is? It Again, it's like the size of like a large dog. You could probably throw it over your shoulder. It doesn't look like it's going to attack you. <laughs> uh, God, am I you got it. To... Uh, we all got a pet now. <laughs> I don't want to. I I don't want to make the hoodie dirty either. By the way, no, I have plug. I, I have a, Neil on my hat. I put a singular napkin on Seox's shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> does, does anyone has uh, have a like a hat or something? <laughs> you know what? I'll do you this favor, okay? Uh, yeah. I'm going to reach into my bag. Oh, excuse me, Mulberry. Uh, I am going to pull out uh, one of these souvenir t-shirts. Oh, that's right. We have those. No, right. I bought more on this on the on island, B. Why are you giving me a t-shirt? You can bundle up your new baby joy. <laughs> that way it won't get your hoodie dirty, and it'll be nice and covered. Ah, uh, fuck with this. That's, I guess that's no point. I, I'm taking the hoodie off. Oh, oh, he's taking his jacket off. Jacket it off. Jacket it off. Just, just shut up. <laughs> it's the first just, time he's done it, Dustin. I know. I just like making that joke. It brings me a small bit of joy in this joyless place. I put the hoodie to the bag and I'm picking up the flatworm. So you currently don't have a hood on. Huh? You currently don't have a hood over your head. No. Oh, oh, we're seeing ears, aren't we? Yeah. I I did it in, in the... You guys saw me with the ears. Like, no, but in like the Leanne and Kanzai are here. Oh, yeah. They haven't seen it. Um, Kanzai Wait. is not going to comment on him. On it, his best friend is a dog girl. Um, and he, he's a tiger? Question mark. Yeah, he 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 don't got ears though. Um, and Misa Stoms also has an udder on his head. He's seen worse. <laughs> Leanne notices it. She's not gonna be rude, but you can probably tell she she's been wanting to address it. What about Victoria? Victoria was in the house. Victoria so has like... eyes on her hands. I don't think she she cares. <laughs> Victoria's what, what actually been very uh Coco, roll me a perception check. Okay. There's, there's sticky notes all over the temple. Trap. 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 <laughs> uh you would notice this. Uh she she look she her face hasn't changed demeanor at all. Like she has the same face that she always does. Um, you notice there was like a little like sweat marks that like uh, she when she entered th this uh, like room she kind of wiped it off her face. Um, uh, she's gonna go up to Coco. Oh, um, 
I, I was really non-confident about what we were supposed to do in that room. I still don't know what we're supposed to do now. Don't worry about it. It seems like we figured it out. Oh, okay. The fact I'm that happy. She, uh, the fact that she uh, wasn't I'll confident is why shit don't. was falling. No worries, Victoria. Whenever you feel like you want to contribute to something, feel free, okay? Okay, I'll take that into consideration. I'm mostly good with punching things and giving predictions, but I'm also good with organizing things with sticky notes. Okay, well, we will keep that in mind, okay? Okay. Uh, Coco? What? She puts a sticky note on your forehead. <laughs> What's this one? Uh, you look at it, it says friend. Oh, uh, you're my friend too. I don't have sticky notes for that, though. You're just gonna have to believe me. Mm, I, I trust you implic implicitly. What? <laughs> Let's get a move on, silly. Okay. Question about it. Yep. Did I notice Liam like like noticing their ears? Uh roll an insight check. Would you even be paying attention? Yeah, when so is she is wearing sunglasses, so it's a little less obvious, but she keeps turning her head towards you for some reason. Oh yeah. Uh, what, what? Uh, something to say? Oh, uh, well, um, good job, everyone. Uh, she claps her hands. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, you know the obvious. Okay, wait, why? Why, why the, are you, are you, uh, like, a cosplayer, or, uh... No, these are real. She's gonna, I, like... I, I flop them. She's gonna walk up to it. Up to you and pull on one. Uh, huh. uh, the, the, not too hard. Oh, those things are real. Yep. Uh, th that is weird. Oh well. Uh, long story short, after then. Yeah, yeah. After death, then. Yeah, I think I think that's most of the weird shit I, I've seen recently. Look, looks like to everything around her. <laughs> There's, there, there was a. Dead person. Uh, Technically. Basically, her power just fused people with apparently animals and stuff. Weird. Yeah, like the Dino Claw. Yeah, like the, the teeth. My teeth. Oh, the Dino Claw. Oh, my very, very sharp teeth. Huh. Looks like your whole party got fucked up by that. Well, not everybody. Uh, three out of five. Technically, four out of five. It's Grifter's sister in law that did it. Future sister-in-law, we haven't. If you're having second oh, thoughts right again. now, I'm gonna hit you, Grifter. Anne is a good woman. Once again, congrats on the marriage. Well, engagement. Sorry. Thank you. Anne is a beautiful ray of sunshine. You will not leave her. Anyways, why the hell would I be leaving her? Everyone <laughs> got, everyone got oh, something yo. out of it. I still don't know what I got. I just got the ears apparently. The, the, uh... the ears in a slug. Upper sensitive hearing. Oh, I um, actually do have just normal ass hearing. I don't have better hearing. Dustin gave you the uh, the the uh, chest piece. Yeah. Which doesn't count to your AC, so don't worry about that uh, interfering with anything. Um, and as you guys are walking out, um, also don't worry. I marked uh on the giant's deathbed the pieces you got. You you got uh two ribs, one foot. Um, one finger and oh. one upper arm. Uh, arm. Yep. What is the name for that anyway? Bicep. I don't know. I really don't know. Bicep. The bicep. So, we'd be going back through that room again? Yeah. <sighs> Character's walking a little slowly behind okay. everyone else. Are you going by each individual? Just not like close enough to them, but looking up, like he's trying to look down at the floor, but looks over and glances at each one. Okay. So fun thing. I was intending on something happening right now. Oh no. Do you want to know the specific emotions that go through your head as you're passing by each one of them? 
Starting with the one on the right. So, Sword feels anger. You feel um, amusement? Question mark? More like, um, I, I'd say amusement. Starting with the one with the hole in its diaphragm. Mm -hmm. You go by the one with the hole in its mouth. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, no, that's right. That's right. Uh, you go by the one with the hole in its mouth. Um, you feel camaraderie. Um, you feel like you need to protect this entity. Your sword feels anger, however. <laughs> okay, um, you feel sadness. Uh, you feel the sense of failure. Sword feels anger. Mm -hmm. You feel sadness, but you also feel grief and guilt and you really don't know why you feel responsible you and the sword both feel an immense sense of anger scowling past that one you feel sadness but you also feel nostalgia and happiness. Hmm. Oh boy, this one. You are neutral. Yup. Um, the You're sword, not. however, is also neutral. Also, I should say all the ones up to this one have been anger. Yup. And you finally reached the last one where sadness, grief, confusion, but also, what's the word? Pride. And as you exit the temple, Grifter, what is everybody doing? Oh, we have to climb out of here. <laughs> as an oh. uh, I'm trying to understand the freaking worm. <laughs> I am also trying to understand the worm, but in the sense of the statue. The statue. Um, you're looking more into it, um, Coco, based off of the information that you read from Leanne's book and what you've discovered on the, you know, so far. This is one of the four lesser deities of the blue people. Um, you can discern that uh, it's probably, you know... You're starting to get a feel for it and remembering what you remember about that specific one. Um, what was Seox trying to do? Like, trying to understand the worm, seeing how it behaves, because it's just, yeah, so what the hell is this? How do I use it? it, it the worm seems... Um, roll an insight check on the worm. <laughs> an insight on the worm? What the fuck is this game? 16. 16. So, this is a Nin After Death ability. This isn't a living creature as much as it is the shadow of the life force of a once living creature. Um, however, personality wise, um, this worm seems to be pretty neutral. 
it's very calm towards you. It looks, seems like it will do what you want it to do, but if you don't want it to do anything, it's probably just going to lay around and flop about. But it, it, it does it feel like it needs something, or like it's alive in the sense that it needs to eat and stuff? It doesn't feel like it has any needs right now. The only thing is, is that this thing is probably very easy to to convince it to do things, but it will not always listen. Out of character, if you wanted to summon this thing and um, have it attack creatures, uh, you can command it as a free action. It's gonna take a long time to get there. Did he... Yeah. Can he technically flank with it, Patty? He can pick this thing up and flank with it. <laughs> <laughs> this thing might have a very slow movement speed. Might. 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 I, I think the weaponizing power of this is yeeting it at people. Yeah. That is fun. also an option. <laughs> Listen, you gotta show Slug Pug some love. No. No, we don't. Okay. Um, but yeah, so, you guys are at the, uh, not the bottom of a gorge, but like at the halfway point of a gorge. Uh, wow. or rather the hole in a mountain. Oh, I was hoping Hi. that, uh, like on their way out, I was hoping that Tombo would actually notice that Grifter has not really joined them entirely. Uh, you can roll a perception, Chamba. Yeah, 28. Yeah, he's still lagging behind at the entrance. I'd wait for Grifter. It's more so that he's looking back still every now and then. Important question. Mm -hmm. Did everybody forget about Mason the Eel? No, I, I actively... That's Coco's responsibility. I told her it was. Coco, did you forget about Mason the Eel? I am bringing the eel... You're, bring, you're bringing the you alien wanted dragon to empire. Just imagine on her way back out, and she just like not even not even skipping a beat, just grabbed the hold of his shirt, like the scruff of his uh collar of his shirt or something like that. Just grabbed the shirt, just started dragging his ass. Okay, um, so good news. Hype drew it. Yeah, I saw. We already have fan art for the fucking flatworm. Uh, I'll really? get. Uh, I'll upload it momentarily. Love me, father. I'd have been I'd have been waiting for Grifter. I'm, I'ma shoot it. <laughs> it won't kill it for good, but I'll shoot it. Tumbo, answer me something honestly. You know I always do. Am I a bad person? You think you are. You're not, but you think you are. I'm all. You paid attention to what was supposed to be going on in there, right, Grifter? I felt... I felt something... Every time, with every statue, I felt something. Yeah. And looking down, looking down at the uh, the the hairpin. You, however, maybe one day you'll tell me why you hate them so much. Well, it, it, there is no response from it. Of course not. Maybe it's important that you know to ask. Well, at least it and I are on the same page when it comes to one of them. Still, keep this in mind, Grifter. It might not mean anything, but it might mean something to you. That wasn't a puzzle. It was a trial. We got through it. But I'm 
I'm not gonna forget it. You're probably gonna have to go through more. And if it's related to the sword, it's probably related to you in more ways than you'd like. But if you can't... You can't let it change you. You're not a bad person. What? Anger seems to be the one thing that connects this thing and I. As far as you know. Uh, well, stars are motion anyway. If, you, if you're so similar to... The, if you think... If you think there's some similarities between you and the sword, then look at it at the, this way. There's more to you than just anger. You're pretty damn smart. You can be extremely kind. You really do care about everybody here and the people that you have in your life. And who's to say the sword didn't have those types of feelings when it was alive? It was telling me a different story. It's telling you a part of a story. I know there's got to be more to it, but... It was very, very intense. Well... If you were trapped in a weapon, a weapon after what happened, uh... With uh, your siblings... You think you'd be the same way? Well, if I was trapped in a weapon and found my way to someone else who apparently has a SIMILAR BACKGROUND looking down at this thing... <laughs> I'd probably would have been a bit more agreeable! No response from it. I put a, ha I put a hand on Grifter's shoulder and I smile up at him happily. Uh, <laughs> no, you wouldn't. And I just pat him out and I just, like, laugh. Stop being right! <laughs> Look. And I'll flick him in the arm real hard. Mm. Stop thinking you're so bad, all right? Just not everything's like... gonna go... Not everything you did was perfect. But you tried. And Roll another... Roll, roll an insight real quick, by the way. It's a double six. How hard are you trying to hide something? There was... <sighs> I don't know if I can give it to you with a six, but you said something. Just... He's just gonna... He's just gonna walk past you a bit, but you're gonna hear... You're gonna hear a low grumble and just him going... Stop reminding me of him. Tonbo. You are. Roll me a perception check. 25. Okay, you're going to see this. So, you have a new spider friend with yes. 16 legs. I do. Um, you see a fly buzzing around your head, and it extends one of its many legs out almost as if a chameleon extended its tongue. And its leg stretches and instantly captures the fly and brings it back in to eat it. Gross. Oh. Um, <laughs> so it's got super long, stretchy knee. legs? What? It's got super long, stretchy legs? Yes. Roll me a nature check. Oh, no. This is very important. Oh, thank God. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're very extensive in your knowledge of entomology. This is an undocumented insect. That boy ain't fat. I, I'm looking at it after seeing what it just did. Oh, hello there. Looks like a... And he's just, he's smiling happily, like... He still has his own goals that he wants to do in his life, but this was 
the initial reason he even sent he set out for the hunter's exam. What do you want to name this species? Do not put your name in it. <laughs> I'm trying to like, that, just, that just leaves you the biggest dick in history. There there is a name he would want to use but it's not particularly right just yet. I'm going to think on it but he's going to want to name it something uh probably in reference to his dad since this was his like hobby of trying to find these things. Okay. So probably was like a little bit of a like in memoriam to him. And if he's not dead, I'm going to be pissed. But oh. <laughs> damn you living. We'll, we'll see if he's as dead as Grifter's relatives. I, I, oh. wow. I, don't, I don't know what to name the species. I do know that if this thing has consumed the fly, <laughs> then the only worthy name for this thing is Jeff. It is now Jeff Goldblum. Jeff the spider. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm away. Fair enough. Um, I again, I have one more last thing for Chibi, but now that you guys are out of the temple, um, is there anything anybody wants to do before we wrap up, you guys? I think we need to sit down for a bit. We've been going nonstop. We're uh. Add an hour and fifteen minutes, or three hours and fifteen I'm minutes. Talking to the party. <laughs> I'm I'm fine to just. Uh... You know what? Maybe we should go, maybe we should find the mailbox. Well, no, because then we'll take Christopher away from what he's doing. Oh fuck! There is one thing you would see. Uh? Oh, um, I need to roll and see how close it is to you guys. That is very close. Uh, Sanbo, you can see into the sky a little. Um, remember those giant locusts that were flying around? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Um, you see someone, some of them flying overhead, but they start to, like, you notice, like, one is falling out of the sky. One is another one in the process of falling out of the sky. One is flying overhead, Oh, and no. it starts to lose all motor functions and plops down the hole. And it actually lands, like, right here. Wait a minute. So it just dropped? It just dropped. <laughs> oh, we know why this is happening, <laughs> don't we? These... I like it went... These locusts are falling from the si the sky. Congratulations, you solved your first temple. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have to worry about those things anymore! Oh, that, can... oh, okay. How? What? <laughs> because they have their new father! Good, no. Seahawks the Worm Conjurer! Oh, god damn it. Uh, oh. <laughs> they bow their mighty head to you but it's probably also because uh coco has the right one one of those two things no it's the seox thing we all know it is i hope it's that <laughs> um but yeah uh let's go to over chibi i haven't talked to him in a while i love it chibi you ready to actually play again Yes. <laughs> this is the problem with DMing for however many, like, like six players, is it now? Don't worry about it. I'm not Chibi's doing it. Um, I'm Chibi, just character. I don't do much anyways. You're going to the camp to meet this individual. Roll me a survival check on the way. Okay. I've, I've been shit at those recently so you know hopefully here's here's some hoping that it's better probably won't be but you know what i'm hoping 23 that's actually not bad at all holy shit you're getting a better feel for this island are you going on the left side of the gorge or the right side of the gorge mm, i was already on the left side so i'm probably hanging left okay also looks like it's a bit more of a straightforward path I don't assume that uh, that Christopher setting up camp is he, or is no. he just 
He's just keep. He's gonna keep going. Okay. He's a war machine. He is not stopping. Okay. So. Da, na, na, na. The amount of time it took you to do, get do, to this do, location, do, do, do. um, it, it would be morning at this point. It's gonna probably take you till nightfall to get over here. Um, but yeah, you're gonna keep persisting. You're getting a better idea for the way this island works, or at least this jungle. Um, you're able to avoid a lot of the dangerous insects and wildlife. You see a couple of, like, gigantic uh, scorpions actually milling about, um, like, kind of in the underbrush. And you uh, you just barely notice them and are able to skirt past them. Hmm. Um, but um, as you're traveling alongside the left side of the gorge also... Uh, you look down, you see actually the ocean floor. It seems that there are various different tunnels that probably lead out of the Baloo Empire. Um, and this is just happens to be a giant hole like in the center of the island. I um, can't do that. You eventually make your way around the gorge, and I'm going to move you because I can. And I have a little map that I need to check on. Okay, let me put a dude, a, a radical dude, um, on here real quick. I am so happy this is the first <laughs> character you found, by the way, Chibi. Oh my god. Uh, let me mark his oh. camera here real quick. I am so sad that I, I I rolled to to not shoot this man. <laughs> oh, trust me. You're 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 not gonna regret it. So place you in the yeah. bottom right hand corner. There's a fucking map. <laughs> Over here, sound good. Yeah. Uh, and if you want to sneak up on this man, roll me a stealth check. Oh, what the fuck? Um. Hold on, I just wanted to actually move my character token so that way I can I can see myself. Roll twenty is being weird. So right. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, I'm gonna roll a perception for him. Doesn't seem to notice you. Um, this uh this circle right here is his campfire, and this is his tent. Right. And from what you can see now, his campsite's just littered with trash and beer. Can I discern if he has anything special, like, at his campsite? Like, any weapons? Yeah, like, what What the hell is this guy's deal? I have an idea, but I'm not there. Ooh, I do too, but... So, this is not who you think it is. He does seem to have an odd amount of flip-flops all over the place. Okay. I need to specify, Cable, this is not who you think it is. Well, go with God. You're either going to get advantage or disadvantage, Noob's All Saiyans. I'm just going to approach for right now. I'm just gonna make my way a little bit closer. I'm trying. What I'm trying to get is like outside of flip flops. What's here? Um, does, what's... does he look like he's a part of an expedition team, or is he just some dude? You can't tell. Uh, I guess we're probably an insight check. I actually have decent insight. Eighteen. <laughs> Uh, he has a walkie-talkie on him. Okay. Um, you you probably can discern that if he is part of the expedition team, then he's probably like he's probably not like somebody you would expect to be leading the expedition. He might have other uses. If not, I guess he could be a random dude just camping out here on Island D. You can't really get a feel for this guy. Where is that walkie-talkie? 
It's on his belt. Okay. What's he doing currently? He's roasting weenies. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to approach from the side here. <laughs> okay. Stand, uh, stand what, out, what? Of vision. out of vision. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you going to wait for now? No, I'm. What I'm trying to do is I'm going to circle around and I want to try to take his walkie-talkie from him. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. So, uh, keep. Okay. So, uh, where are you going next? He he uh, seems to still be roasting weenies. Be into the bush. <laughs> okay. Ugh, ugh. He's kind of groaning. Um, you do notice that, um, weirdly enough, there are a lot of insects, like smaller insects surrounding him. Uh, they look like they're trying to bite at him, but they can't get purchase on his body. Hmm. So he's thick-skinned. Must be all the suntan lotion. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Hmm. Uh... So he's facing the campfire, yeah? Yeah, he is not fucking paying attention right now. <laughs> just gonna casually sneak around. Cause that's the, just, I'm, I'm outside of the tent, not inside, but you get the idea. Um, Roll a sleight of hand check. Okay. Uh, 18. Okay, uh, you take it from him. He doesn't notice. <laughs> All right, and uh, I am going to, uh, hmm, yeet that some bitch. <laughs> okay. Um, are you trying to stealthily yeet, yeet it? No. Uh, he's gonna like turn around and look uh, towards the 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 noise. Well, what? 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 After eating it, I'm just going to stand up. Hello there. Oh, uh, hello there, uh, my uh, guy. Uh, what are you doing here? Mm, I would say same as you, but I don't really know exactly why you're here either. Oh, I'm, uh, you know, uh, looking for treasure and stuff, maybe. Uh, right let me insight check. 24. This guy is trying to play it off like really cool, like he's dopey and he doesn't know anything. He obviously knows something, and he's obviously not here to look for treasure as part of an expedition party. All right, so which which expedition party are you with then? Oh, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, the the big guy who does you know the ice, and you know it's like cool, right? Uh, Alpha, gamma, or beta? Uh, oh, so I guess, I guess you don't know who Darrow is then. No, I do. I was just trying to figure out if you were bullshitting me. Oh, that's pretty smart. <laughs> you know. Right, um, and I can tell you're bullshitting me right now, so. Uh, what's your deal? Well, what's your deal, my dude? Well, I'm looking to kill someone. Well, but obviously I I'm not here to kill you. Well, depending on who you are, you know, I might have to kill someone. You got a bunch of flip-flops and... A... Is that an empty pack of uh, beer? Uh, it, it just kind of scoots it to the side. Hey, listen, don't judge my life choices, okay? I ain't judging shit. Who do you work for? I work for myself. We're gonna roll insight check on that. You're really not a part of Darrow's crew, are you? Nope. Well, I guess if you are, my mission's kind of fucked anyways, but, uh... Name's Galveston. Uh, he holds out his hand. Pleasure to meet you. Hope you understand when I'm not gonna shake your hand on this situation. Oh, uh, yeah. Probably kind of gross. Um, say, have you had a walkie-talkie anywhere, or... Hmm, afraid not, but I did see a couple, uh, a gator not too far from here. 
Oh, I, I don't have to worry about that guy. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I was just hanging around here, uh, you know, kind of on a top secret mission. He kind of whispers into you. Really? I'm supposed to, uh, you know, um, look into that Darrow business. Looking into Darrow, huh? Yeah, I'm supposed to get more information on him to get closer to um, his employer. Really? Uh, yeah. I'm going to scratch my head for a second. Mm. Oh, see, what's that name? Uh, his employer, Neelam, or are you talking about that yeah, other, guy. He's, other he's, little prick? Yeah, uh, you know, there's not really evidence on him, but, you know, uh, you word it. For? What? What? Who you work for? Oh, um, well, that's on a need-to-know basis, my dude. Right. I'm just asking because, you know, under certain circumstances, if you're going after uh, someone that might coincide with uh, what I'm going after, then maybe it's a good idea to just trade some information. How about this? So, who are your, who are you killing? Well... Sounds like you're trying to get information on the on uh, some people. I need to kill uh, myself a uh, low a low illis, I believe. Oh, like the uh, the short ratty one. Yeah, she's kind of a bitch. And a uh, a Darrow Bingo. Well, I can tell you now, Darrow's somewhere in this forest. Um, Is he now? Yeah, he might be pertinent to my mission, but um, I guess if you could get information off of him. You're like, you're probably some sort of high-end secret agent yourself, I assume. Close. Fire international hitman. I, I'm assuming by your uh, your wares. So what's what's it in for you? What you looking for? I just want information on Neelum for the most part. Uh, um, you know, not above torture. Not really cool with it, but you know. Anything in specific? Uh, just, you know, evidence or any way I can come across evidence to incriminate Neelam for his international uh, crimes and various non-do-goodings. I'm just going to kind of point fingers. Like, I think I can do you one better. Mm -hmm. I can give you living evidence. Living evidence? Yeah. I'm listening. See, I know a couple people. And uh, one of them just so happens to have some relation to that Neelam Bear that you are speaking of. Uh, someone who Neelam Bear has tried to kill on several occasions. Mm. Who would this specific person be? Now, see, I'm going to... I would love to inform you as to who, but at the same time... You haven't been giving me that much information, either. Information for information's sake. See, that's fair. I'm gonna uh, ask again, who's your employer? Mm, sorry if I tell you my uh, entire operation to be compromised. I could put you, point you in the direction of uh, Lower Darrow, if you so choose. Well, I'd appreciate that. Uh, well, Darrow is somewhere, you know, in this, this forest... Uh, you know, I was actually supposed to be part of his party undercover, but I, uh, skillfully snuck away, um, and by snuck away, I ran a separate direction when faced with a giant centipede monster. Um, good, good cover story, um, uh, but also it was really creepy and I didn't want to deal with it. Um, other than that, I think Low Illis is, uh, somewhere on the, uh, north west end of the island she has like a pretty fucked up crew herself when when uh uh you know if you have the opportunity i would take her out without having to deal with any of your comrades they're kind of scary appreciate it oh 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 i'm so stupid oh uh he's, he he slaps his head if you ever come across like a bus in the ground that's like secret and hidden um those are my compatriots. I would suggest not uh, not shooting them if you have the option to. Right, and your name is, again... Uh, call me Galveston. And they know you by that name? Yeah, they know me by Galveston. 
I'll be sure if I come across him to let him know you said hi. Okay. Well, uh, anyways, who is this person you're talking about? Neelan's brother. Well, ex-brother, I guess you could say now. Mm -hmm. Oh, um... Wait, one of the, the bear kids survived? Yeah. Who might that be? <sighs> Come on, dude. I gave you, like, so much information. <laughs> he's, he's, like, like has his arms, his hands clasped at this right, point. Right, you did. But at the same time, you're just some guy with a bunch of beer cans and some flip-flops out in the middle of the forest. And, uh... Listen, I'm a, I'm a highly trained uh, secret agent myself, dude. Really now? <laughs> Because I don't look like much doesn't mean that I'm not confident in my own ways. Thing is that... I'll, I'll ask you on this situation. Employer name for employer name. Ugh. Sorry, dude. That's where I'm going to have to draw the line. Well, understand and appreciate I'll, I'll give you a hint. Give you one hint. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'm not employed by a specific person, but rather an organized entity of a government-type caliber of an undescript nation that I'm not going to say. Are you hired by a cowman, for chance? Cow? What, what are you talking about? Never mind. Ignore me. <laughs> but... Oh, well, uh... Anything you can give me uh, other than that, bro, Vigo? You know, since we're uh, keen on exchanging information. Well, I can tell you this. you got purple hair. Uh, wait. Purple hair. I'll, I'll, I'll be on the lookout, my dude. Okay. Hey, he's got a posse. He's not too far from here. Just go past the swamp and you might be able to catch him. Well, I must say this is an informative meeting. Uh, yeah. What, what's your name? Hmm. Not all that important. Oh well. Uh, you know, I gave you my name, so you know. Hmm. Just call me Ward. Okay, Mister Ward. Well, uh, keep in touch. I'll uh, buzz my my bro Migos. Uh, taking surveillance in the ground not to, uh, you know, fuck with you or whatever. Oh, by the way, I'm just gonna point in the direction I toss the walkie-talkie. Walkie-talkie's over there. Oh, dick. Okay. Okay, well, I'll see ya. See you later. Uh, you better not br blow my cover anymore. Don't know I when have... Daryl will show up again. I have no reason to blow your cover. Mind if I take a beer with me? Oh, uh, help yourself, my dude. I have a cooler. I'm gonna pop open a cooler. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a beer, crack it open, and just drink it while I'm walking away. Okay. <laughs> well, you met Galveston. Uh, roll me a perception check. Uh, I did. Oh, wait, dude, don't go that way. Ah, uh, damn it. I haven't even rolled anything yet. Yeah, roll, per, roll perception. That that's not that's not what the perception's for. Yeah, it's it's kind of that's where where I found the. Uh, oh, he's already gone. Um. So, Christopher. Hmm. You smell something familiar. Oh. You smell the scent of rotting bodies. Directly west of you. Hmm. What are you doing? I'll look over at my at my my friend here and go, well, bro, Migo, have any idea what's over that way? Uh, 
Just be careful of your step. Uh, I didn't do that, by the way. Just, um... I found them like that. Any idea what did it? Someone on this island. I can't say for certain, but, um... It's better you see yourself. I'll take a pee. <laughs> um... So... Christopher... Mm-hmm. You come across a person. They are lying down on the ground. They are covered in leaves and debris. Not like they were covered, but they fell down and fell on them. They've been here probably... Roll a medicine check. Mm -hmm. I keep closing out my sheet. Da, 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 da. Eight. Eight. Between a day and a week. Um this person, uh woman probably in her forties, uh looks to be of you know decent builds. Um this looks more like the type of explorer slash adventure you would expect to see on this expedition. Mm -hmm. um, she has holes in her body. They're about the size of baseballs. And it, it's not like she was shot. You can see directly through where the hole is to the ground. Um, there are several of these holes throughout her body. There's like one in her head that probably that took out like a good chunk of her face. Uh, one like a couple in her chest, one in her stomach. Uh, parts of her arms just look like they were instantly like. How should I put this? They don't look like something made impact with her, but rather somebody took that part of her body away from her instantaneously. Well, then. Um, with that 18 perception, you notice another body hanging from the tree. Similar story. Um, it, it just kind of limped over a branch. And the more you look around, you start to notice more holes in the trees. And you start to notice more bodies. Hmm. All right, then. I'm going to saddle up and I'm going to walk back to my friend here and go, all right, Mr. Hawaii Five O, I have some questions. Uh, shit. First off, how in the hell are you able to sit around here and you're completely fine when all of that bullshit is going on? Uh, I came here. You found him like that then? Yeah, no. Uh, that's not my handiwork. Really? What do you do then? can't give away all my secrets can I uh, and he's gonna like like bonk you on the head with one of his uh, or he's gonna at least not like like to attack you but he's just kind of gonna kind of like like wave around one of his flip flops mm -hmm. alright understood uh, guessing that's some magic bullshit that's going on over there I assume so. That a part of an expedition team that was here before? Or you just found them like that and you have no idea? Uh, judging by uh, recent events, I assume that they were part of uh, one of uh, Neelam's expedition teams. Uh, oh, fuck, I forgot to mention that. Neelam did something kind of stupid recently. Um... Apparently, he's turning this into a competition. So, um, all, unfortunately, I'm aware. All of the uh, various expedition teams are now going after each other. So, you know, doesn't surprise me. 
Hmm. Um, the thing that's weird about this, I recognize some of these guys. Really? Uh, I could have sworn these guys worked directly under Neelum. Did they now? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. So don't someone like else it. is killing them. Yeah. Well, you best be safe then, boy. Yeah, I can take care of myself. Right, I'm just general concern. You know what? You've been nice here. Have a have a caramel coin. It's not poison, is it? No, I'm I own a candy shop. Oh, that's it's pretty wholesome. Yeah. Got a sniffing and popping in his mouth. Oh, oh. See you later, Gramps. You have a good day. I am just going to then, I guess, just explore the forest. Since um, apparently Darrow is here somewhere. Okay. So, you keep walking and walking and walking and walking. You walk for a good 15 minutes. During this walk further into the forest, there is not a single moment where there is not a corpse out of eye shot. Hmm. And that's where we're going to end the session. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ominous. This has turned into a, turned into a fucking death game. Yeah, it has. <laughs> It never wasn't. Yeah, it was always a death game. But now the fun part is they turned on each other. We don't have to worry about running into some of them. It's true. But no, that my... means... That hey. Means crazy, fuck, uh, crazy powerful fuckass out there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Yeah. Total Dry Mile and the Death <laughs> Season. No, this welcome. Is this is still total... slightly less deadly than Total Drama Island. Yeah. It's kind of I mean, it. That's the worst uh, part. The fucking toxic waste dump at the season. Yeah. So, I am so fucking glad you found Galveston. Do you know why you found Galveston, Shibby? Hmm. He was the only one stupid enough to keep his campfire going. I figured that. I'm going to end stream. Okay, bye everyone. Bye everyone. Bye, bye everyone.